All right. Got a nice little glass of whiskey. Chat, we're gonna do the woo intro. So I'm just gonna clean my desk up real quick. Okay. We're not gonna do intro every time we log in, but just for right now, use it as an excuse so I can just clean my desk up. It's just got too much shit on it. Give me like two, three minutes, and then we can get started. Wait, what? It wasn't the song. Come on, Spotify. What are you doing, bro? Is this a song? Sounds different. But what's the version we were listening to? I liked it better than that one. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one is way better. Okay, let's restart it. I'm gonna clean my desk up real quick. I'm gonna mute my mic so you guys don't hear it, okay? Give me like two minutes, so we'll be good to go.
All right, desk is clean. We good to go, boys. Let's see what uh what happens to Wu today. All right, we gotta find like a decent playlist. We can just let Spotify auto play until we play something we don't like, then play a playlist. Fuck it. Oh, that I joined Team Speak. I think I did. All right, yeah, we're good. Oh my god, if Antonio ran into the Chenzo yesterday, he's gonna be mad when he sees Wu, bro. This is still 32 slots, it's 160. How does TeamSpeak work in the server? It's the same way Mumble works. The VoIP here is actually better because I think TeamSpeak is way better than Mumble, personally. Did Antonio ever get back to me? He didn't! What's it? S and her name. SC317. Oh, I see. E one E I five seven one E I five seven one E I five seven one How much money we got? I wonder if I do have any money in the bank, actually. Let's see how much money we have total. <whistles> Harry, you fucking dumbass. Can you, can you move away from that fucking door, buddy? Can we get a title and game update if we haven't already?
Uh. <clears throat> Anybody seen the manager around? That we poor. We only have eight dollars to our name, bro. Are you about to rob the bank? pass there's no lasso <laughs> they might be robbing that bitch boys Uh, let's go to the uh, saloon. We gotta find Antonio today, man. Get our money. All right, we gotta go back this way. This might be really sketchy, so we're gonna go pretty quickly through here. Uh oh, they saw me go back again. Should I pass them? Or maybe we go to the Italians again, actually. Yeah, I like that. Starting the day, going to the Italians, looking for Antonio. <laughs> Where was it again? We got to find the park. And then we should talk Antonio some more. <laughs> I think this is, is this the park right here. Yeah, their house. Chat, how many houses in like St. Denise can you actually go into? But oh, this might be their house right here. Oh yeah, it is right here. With interiors? Well, does this server have houses that uh, are, you can load into? That you can like acquire? I'm surprised there's no knocking, uh, emote. Uh, I'll hush limit. There is, how do I knock? Flash knock. On the wheel.
Guys, I got a church desk. If I bang my church desk, it's going to literally collapse. Stationary actions. Ah. There we go. Uh, the server isn't full yet, so I don't know if a, if a lot of people are around right now. <laughs> He's like, where the fuck they at, bro? He's like, what? They're not here? The animations are so good, dude. Anybody home? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who knew RPing with the door would be so much more fun than in RP, man? And GTA. All right, fuck it. Nobody's home. We'll go to the saloon, we'll ask around, and then we'll go and see if uh, Antonio got other telegram. I gotta think of a response to say when people say nice to meet you. Cause Wu's not gonna say nice to meet you too. But what would he say without making them hate him right away? Good to see you, Wu. Just got your telegram. Where is my money, Antonio? I don't have your fucking money. You keep asking me where your fucking money is. We're gonna have a real fucking problem. <laughs> I'm tired of this. Every fucking time we fucking meet. Where's my money? You abandoned me. I'm fucking tired of it. It can ease. All right. It can ease. And can you see, you can you see we're having a conversation, Marcus? Yeah, I know. It, it didn't seem to be going anywhere. It seemed like the normal one. <laughs> oh, you, you got a telegram? What are you wearing, Marcus? Ooh, well, I'm, That's what I was wondering. I'm not going to lie. Big, I have Marcus, a big what plan the fuck at, at a saying? gallery. It's a, a means of making money. Right. Doing what? Acquiring our. You see, Antonio, I need what? to speak to you in private. All right, Marcus, I'll be seeing you around. All right, take it easy. All right, have a good day. We... I want to ask him about how he, he how he missed out on a chance to make twenty seven hundred dollars. Huh? What? 
No, Marcus is just being a little redundant. Where can we go talk? Do you have a place we can speak? I got a spine. Here I am. Here, grab your horse. We gotta tell Tony that we talk shit about him to Descenzo, bro. Thanks, baby. Love you. <coughs> Oops. What the fuck's happened to my horse? What's that? Huh? Oh, hell yeah. We shouldn't be bothered here. Should be fine. <clears throat> Antonio. I ran into your friend. The other night. Trying to find you. Which one? He... He forgot his name. Uh, uh, mm. The head of the Italians. Head of the Italians, I... Well... That would probably be uh, Sonny. Sonny the Genzo. Or, well... San Antonio. Yes. I think that is yeah. him. Or Santino. Yeah, that's what they call him. He was uh, asking me a lot of questions about you, Antonio. And what was he saying? He was wondering why I do not like you. <laughs> well, did you tell him? Yes, Antonio, I do not lie. All right. I mean, you lied to him that you liked his food, and that's for sure. It is a different circumstance. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, I'm curious. What did you say, Will? Huh? <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> I owe you money. I abandoned you, right? No. Mm. I told him that you have too big of an appetite for the things you want. Are you, call, you calling me fat or what? No. I'm calling you impatient. Horrible thinker. You see what you want, but you do not know how to get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you do? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, how about you lead today, eh? Let's go make money your way and see how it works out. <laughs> Besides that, the point is that it seemed he was very interested in your motives around here. Yeah, we've been doing some work here and there with him. Well, I, you know. I don't think he likes you. I would disagree. should have been there for the conversation. I mean, I don't think I have to be. <laughs> Do you trust this man? 
I mean, you know, I don't know him too well yet, but, you know, I've been doing some things with him here and there. You don't think he's trying to use you? For what? He's already got others. He doesn't need me. He didn't want me, then he wouldn't have me. So That's just, you know, does not the want truth. You, why was he so interested in you? Well, obviously, you know, I fit right in with the family there. That's for sure. He likes me. Wants to give me wake. Help me out. But it sounds like you, you know, obviously, you and him had a talk. And now I might have to go to him to explain some of these things. So now it's wrapped up in a, you know, another situation. <laughs> yes. Sounds like my name was being uh, dragged into the date. I tried my best not to, Antonio, but what am I supposed to do here? Well, considering that, uh, you know, me and you got to get back to a certain point and make some money, now it's going to be a difficult situation if he thinks I'm somewhat less of what I used to be. I did not say that. Well, you don't have to say it. You told him other things that could lead to that. So now we're going to have to go clean it up. If it's that bad as you're talking. I'm not trying to say that it is bad, but I'm trying to say the way he spoke. Well, what did he say? Made me exactly. Uneasy. What was he I've, talking about? I've never met a man so interested to know another man's motives like that. I think he's just looking out. I mean, he knows you're my old partner, you know, so I probably trying to get some uh, information, some knowledge. A little bit of backstory on me, you know. Wondering who I am besides what I told him. That does not make you uneasy. Well, it can't be that bad, that's for sure. And then on top of that, we need to make some money anyways. And definitely getting him, you know, on a uh, good ground with me and you. Uh, definitely starting with me first. It's going to open up a lot of doors and opportunities for us. So we got to make sure when he asks us some things, we take it seriously and uh, look out for each other. How does he make his money? I'm not too sure yet. They've been in the town here for a while. Seems like they got some old money, you know? I see. I don't know uh, their old deal of the business just yet. And how powerful is he? Uh, pretty powerful, I would assume. The other day, we uh, had to take care of some business. Sitting outside the house, me and, uh, you know, Big Al, Amadeo. This guy comes around on a horse. Starts, you know, disrespectfully uh, saying some things, calling us dirty people. So Amadeo and Al ran after the guy, dragged him off his horse. Al grabbed him by the neck, punched him in the back multiple times, almost broke his uh, spine. Throwed him on the back of the horse. We took him out to the swamps, almost fed him to the Jesus. gators. Flipped a coin, decided if he was going to live a night or we'd take his fucking pinky. Guy ended up surviving. Landed on heads. We took him back into town here. Told him I, you know, he got attacked by a mountain lion. You know, we helped him out. Pans out. Later last night, I'm in Valentine with Al. We're sitting at the table. I'm letting poker here and there. Deputy comes in. Tells Al he needs to speak. So I see Al. I say, all right. I follow him. I say, where you going? He's like, oh, I, you know, I may be getting arrested for all this money that I stole. I thought he was joking, right? So I was like, all right, I'm going to head over to the uh, head over to the bank real quick. I come back. I was not at the table. I'm wondering where he is. So I go to the sheriff's department, and he was in the back of the uh, cell. As I'm sitting by the window, I hear another deputy say, hey, grab the man out back with the black coat. We think the guy that I possibly we took yesterday to beat some sense into, but it snitched. Maybe said a couple things. I then stick around to find out, so I grabbed Rennie and I had it out. Went to Blackwater. That's why I slept last night. But the law could be looking out for me right now. I'm not too sure whether it's questioning or whatever it is. I'm not, you know, I don't really know, to be honest. I see. 
I thought you were an orange picker, Antonio. Only by day? <laughs> hey, gotta do something to look clean, right? You are a scared man, yes. Scared of what? I'm not sure you tell me. I mean, I think we're all a little scared of something. Nothing scares me, I got no me, reason Antonio. to, uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what scares you? What? Money. You're scared of money. If you don't I'm have not... money, you're scared. I'm not scared of money. I want money. Yeah, but you're scared if you don't have it. I'm not scared. Also, Italian food, you really don't like that. I'm not scared of horse shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> you better watch it, all right? Italian food is some of the best fucking food I've ever had in my life. Not like some gabagool. <laughs> so, how are we going to make this money? Well, uh, I got a couple ideas, actually. I recently uh, learned about this spine. It's a fishing spine. And uh, the salmon that you can catch over there goes for a pretty fair price. About $12 per fish. I picked up that box the other day on my horse, and I, we could definitely carry a lot more salmon in it. You want to do something like that? A little easy? Maybe, uh, you know, enjoy each other's uh, time? We could go a little fishing. I got an extra ride for you if you went. Or we could try a different uh, different approach, maybe with something else. If it's no, with uh, money, I will do it, but I will not enjoy my time with you, Antonio. I disagree. Don't. Understand how? What you you're telling me? You're telling me you're not gonna enjoy some, uh, you know, a little fishing out by the river? Me and you, huh? Is that what you're saying? I will enjoy making money. Right. I love this game, dude. The fucking environment is so good. Yeah, he said salmon. I want sushi. Fuck. I'm getting sushi tonight. Dude, I love the dot. Like, oh my god. I was just. I feel like when I play this game, all I'll talk about is how good it is. But all right. fuck. Said so that. Uh, head back to the bank. We'll grab the uh, other fishing ride. Do a little bit of fishing and then maybe uh, go hunt a bear. The bears usually sell for about twenty dollars if you can get the uh, right shot. So you don't make twenty then off that. Well, I mean, depends how good of a shot you are. For oh, me, easy. You, I don't think so. <laughs> but I feel like the voice is getting better the more we play him too. It's starting to sound like more uh, natural. Are there cops in this game? Yeah, there's a lot. There's like certain words though, I feel like I need to cut out of my vocabulary that almost makes me break the voice. And I sound like, not like woo. That's why you guys notice like when I talk, I'll slow down. It's like, I'm trying to think like, wait, I can't really say that word. What kind of crime is there? Uh, there's drugs, I know. There's bank. There's, there's a lot of crime, but you guys gotta understand, like, I, I'm slow burning the fuck out of the character. Not to say that I won't rob a bank today, right? But if the RP calls for it, I will, but I'm not, like, Wu is not, uh, robbing a bank's not even in his mind yet. Well, that's right. I think we gotta take a trip up to the, uh, to the bait shop. I gotta go get you, uh, some bait. I have. A confession, Antonio. When? What's going on? I think the law might be after me. Oh, God. What are they after you for now? Nothing. How you doing? Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you got us that dinner yet? Listen, Marcus. Look, I'm going to be really fucking honest here. All right? 
to withdraw 10 million dollars. Goddamn competition. But one, I didn't have a fucking horse that was ready for it. Two, I didn't have the money that was ready for it. And I really do appreciate it. But it's literally been about 15 minutes. No, I haven't talked to the Italians yet. And no, I haven't got your goddamn dinner. <laughs> oh my god. I'll get to it when I get to it, all right? Take it easy. By how much? <laughs> Doodle. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm jealous of me because your fucking wife likes me more than you, motherfucker. <laughs> So you said you might be wanted by the lawman. Yes, I tried to sneak on a train last night. Wait, you were on that train too? And Wait, were you the guy who tried to sneak on a train? Yes. There was two people, I think. A lady and then maybe somebody else. But yeah, I was on that train. That's kind of funny. Well, I guess that makes both of us. We ought to get out of town then. We got to go to a bait shop. I think the I'm nearest one is... Uh, leaving my home, Antonio. I live here. Well? Well, there goes Jim. Well, we gotta go to the base shop anyways. So we are gonna be leaving for a little bit. God, your horse is so big. This is a shire, right? That's all. So at least. All right. Here, yeah, follow me. Our horse is pretty fucking big, dude. But I love this horse. It's fucking beautiful. So where are we going? We're gonna have to go to the bait shop. We gotta get you some bait for your fishing rod. And then we can head over to the nipple. I'm sorry. Well, that's what it's called. I didn't name it. Dude, nighttime in this game is in, this is what rust nighttime should be like. You can actually see, but you feel like it's nighttime. This should be a right up here. Okay, here it is. Wait. Okay. Let me give you this fishing rod. All right. Here you are. I already have one, Antonio. Oh, all right. Do you have a, do uh, you have the lure for it? Or does it got a piece of bread on it? I do not. All right. I'll buy you one. Should be right here somewhere at least. Yeah, here it is. All right, I think you're gonna need a uh, a river lure. Yeah, I got you one. Right, so we're gonna run server. They are, but uh, I don't know. I really enjoy the server. All right, here you are. Just go ahead and put that on your fishing rod there. This will be for the salmon that we're hunting. Oh, well, fishing for. It. And then we'll do the hunting after. Fishing is hunting. How do I? Hey, you know what? Maybe we should buy two of them, just in case one snaps. I see. I definitely will, but I really enjoy the characters on the server, man. I can't lie. All right. Set on out.
Yo, oh, Crimson, they give her the uh, uh, 10 gift. little 10 adventure gifts, going. So, it's going to be a little bit, but not too fine. All right. All right. Follow yeah, me. exactly. I like that I don't know anyone. Like, everybody we're running to is just like, holy shit. Dude, I'm just intrigued by everyone we've, we've ran into so far. Back to 15k park champ. Oh yeah, the shit Spancer has done for the NoPixel server is actually insane. One one feature I really like uh, that I think is really cool for Red Dead is the horse breeding. Because for example, like I want a big ass horse like this, but apparently like, this is not really a good horse, right? So it'd be cool if like I can go to a horse breeder and be like, listen, I want like a big fucking black fucking stallion. And I can like RP with like a breeder to give me like my perfect horse, you know? There gonna be a messenger birds too. Yeah, but I, I like the telegram system, man. I like uh, I like this slowing down of not instant communication. Like everything is an adventure, like going up to the Italian's door, knocking to look for Antonio. Like that's such a small thing, but it felt like a, like a little adventure. Like the other night, you know, saying, you know, figure out how to use a telegram, go into the saloon, having to interact with more people to see what the fuck's going on. If Antonio's alive, where he's at, has anybody heard about him, right? What are we listening to? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll change the playlist when we get to uh, the fishing spot. Or fuck it, we'll do it right now. We'll catch up to Tony. Hold on. Let's do... And we lost Tony. That's why I didn't want all tab. Is that him right there? Yeah. You're still nervous you're having people or are you just settling to Reddit? Oh, I'm definitely settled in. Like I said, I, I know people are going to meme it, but it's the first day I was obviously nervous, but I wasn't nervous to interact with people. I was nervous because I forgot the voice, but Wu himself is a very quiet, like anti-social character almost. Like somebody who would interact with Wu, they'll introduce themselves, be nice, probably for the purpose of making a friend or just, you know, being nice, right? Wu, like he doesn't want to make friends. He doesn't want to introduce himself to people. He, he doesn't care about any of that. That's what makes the character like pretty antisocial. Now, like I said, will that change? Like, obviously, like, for example, like with Vincenzo, you know, the relationship started growing with the conversation there and like Wu was opening up, right? It, like I said, I put the character on a certain level and then he'll keep leveling up as his story continues to build and he'll change as a character, right? But, but that is that currently that's how the character is.
Is who trustworthy when it comes to money? Um, I mean, he doesn't trust anybody. He doesn't even trust Antonio. <laughs> he just follows him because he pledged his loyalty. Now, that obviously change as the relationship continues to grow, of course. I mean, that's the idea, right? I, I love RPing with Tony. I, you know, for me, OC, I want them to be fucking boys and do crazy shit together. But, you know, there's gonna, there's like a development to get to that sort of level, right? All right. I'm gonna need a Valentine. We shouldn't be too much failing. We're good to go. All right. Who likes Moxie? He also likes Marcus. He likes Moxie's intelligence, but he hates Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I love Marcus. Who hates him? We love the dynamic. Who hated being on that boat? You know what I mean? I was Loki kind of hoping we're going to be on that rest play. But re yeah, we're going to play rust today too. I don't know if we'll stream it though. But uh, I'm, I'm going play, I'm gonna be playing rust all night tonight. That's why tomorrow might be a day off, boys, because it's fucking live day. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, mate. Hey, no ways. Take it easy. I thought we were about to get run up on, bro. Wonder what they were getting up to. Did not look good. Man, they did not. All right, I gotta see where we go. If we go straight or left, don't I? All right, we keep going straight. Can you leak the next OTB rest event? Yeah, I'll give the thousand subs, and I'll do it right now. Let me talk about your character's motives as well. Explain your character. Yeah, I like doing it too. I like that's why I like playing new characters because I have to explain and I actually like explaining. Like with Lang, I don't really have to explain much anymore because you know most of the chat has been watching me for so long, so they know the character. All this woo woo is like early 20s 24 25 30s no he's a very young character you guys should have seen him so like the reason he's a bit older is because we played reddit a long time ago but when we first played him uh we rp that like he literally just fucking uh like he was like 20 19 years old like very young now he's like a little older a little bit more seasoned not too seasoned though Right here is one of the uh, best spots, best spots to fish at. Right in this little uh, little section right here. A lot of salmon. My injury also down the stream here as well. So you probably shouldn't fish in the same area or at the same time. So I'll let you go face. You go in and catch a fish. All right. Maybe I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, Blaz voice for Jesse is really good. All right. So make sure you get that iron, get that rod, and then you put that lure on it. You're gonna need that for uh, 
fishing around these pants. What's we'll do today? Yeah, that's Don't crazy. Cast too fine. It's a nice little one right there. All right. Then once you do that, you're just gonna want to gently move it back and forth. Yeah. Wait, Go really? away from the bubbles. On a time. Every now and then, give it a nice little flick. What the fuck? I'll go to real mine back in so that way you can do yours. Two of us at the same time are gonna work. You can even lift it. You're moving away too much. I'm gonna reel it back in and then give it another shine. Try to only, uh, only move it around every now and then. Go away from the bubbles. So if the bubbles are on the right, go to the left. We really gotta. I'm gonna. Yo, Chad, get Tony to send me his playlist, bro. I, oh, shit. I really got to get some good playlists, man. These Spotify playlists are just trash. You could always uh, always try fishing with a boat, too, but I need to get you some. Oh, nice did I get something? Arrows. Oh, let's try this one. Is this Tony's? I don't know how to fish, Antonio. All right, look. Here, just uh, go and watch me reel it back in. <laughs> All right. This is how it works, okay? Like I said, I'm going to get your rod ready. Just give it a good old little, uh, little throw in. All right? Let me do it face. And then once you got it in there, you want to see where the bubbles are on top of the water, all right? You want to make, make sure you're moving away from them. You don't want to go against them or right, towards them. Once you do that, you want to move it over to the left a little bit if they're on the right. And give it a little flick out. And let it sit. I cannot even see where the line is. Yeah, it's a little iron. I've heard that uh, when two people are around the same exact area, it scares the fish a little bit. They get a little scared, so maybe that's why. Maybe you try here and I'll try somewhere else. Okay. Hmm. Okay, go ahead and try here. I'll go ahead and try it down uh, over here to the right, all right? Easier on controller? Yeah, it seems actually difficult. Starting with his day off a little bit of fishing before we get into some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? I can't even see the line though. Maybe if I looked at my eyes, it's better. Ah, there we go. Do I have a fish? How do I reel? How do I reel?
Bro, Wu sucks at fishing, bro. How do I reel in slowly? Is it reset? Ca oh, oh, I have something. Have you caught anything yet? I'm not very good at this. You want to go hunting instead? I want to catch more a fish, alley. Antonio. Hey, well, listen. I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you. If you're not a fisherman, you're not a fisherman, all right? I mean, I see all the fish here. I mean, they're definitely hungry. That's for sure, but... You put the bait on, right? Huh? You put the lure on that I gave you, right? Yes. All right. You know, it might be because I, I'm here with you. The fish might just be getting a little scared, you know? What is this? What did you Antonio. get, Shane? What do you get? Well, that should be a. Uh, the hell is that? I have no idea what that is. I've never caught me one of those before. Hey, right, could sell for a good amount. Who knows? <laughs> All right, don't shoot it. All right. I'm all right, all right, all right. Yep, fishing's definitely not your thing, that's for sure. <laughs> that is how you fish. Right. Well, that's how you ruin the fish. The fish isn't going to sell for anything. Now it's going to sell for a penny if that. What you need is some small arrows for your bow. So that way you could, you know, maybe do a little fishing that way. Or that. I think it had. I don't know where that fish went. Hey, here's your thing back, eh? Let us go hunting. All right. We'll go to Big Valley. We suck at fishing chat. We think that's a perfect quality one, though. Perfect quality. Uh, chain pecker pe Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> Gotta take it easy around walking behind the. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. 
this. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Oh my God. All right. Come on now. All right. Let's go. All right. We're taking your horse. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> All right, come on. All right, on the fucking horse. Let's go. All right. Jesus fuck. No way, well, it's going to be all right. I'll get you through a dark thing. <laughs> I kind of hate the death, uh, and uh, death like screen, dude. I think we can get up this way. Yeah, I wish you could hear the environment too, yeah. I hate this horse. Yeah, I don't really, yeah, I don't really like mine either. Look at the testicles on this thing, bro. Jesus. Probably because we don't take good care of it, you know. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it is what it is. They shrink when it's cold out? No shot. Really? All right, we're here. Oh, I hate this town. Ugh. I hate this town. Hey, well, what do you want me to do? Eh? This is the closest <laughs> town we were near. Stables. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he's all right. Just, you know, fell off his horse. <laughs> and then got so kicked by see. his horse. <laughs> Yeah, you doing how I am. Got a doctor here, mister? I believe so, yeah. Well, I'll go meal find one for you. All right, appreciate it. I do have a couple of questions for you, by the way. Oh, God. Hey, no ways, of course. Is he a law? Is that the law, man? Mm -hmm. That's the one. Shit. All right. Can I, I can I like options, interact yeah. like that when I'm down like this? You here. Do not abandon me. Oh, no, we're going through the back door. Hold on. All right. There should be a back door here, right? Fuck, it's locked. God damn it. All right. Let the doctor treat my wounds, Antonio. All right. Then we get out of here. Somebody's gonna wanna talk to me in the meantime. Then do Fuck it. I'll what just talk to you him. do best. All right. Then talk out of your arse. All right. You say arse, right? Instead of ass? I thought you went. I could probably help you out. Fast work? What's up, Tim? I enjoy it, man. I just, uh, I missed the slow burn, bro. All right. 
I get the action and the just comedy from going, GTA and the slow burn from Red Dead. So it's a good mix. And it's nice uh, switching a game and not losing 80% of my viewers in three minutes, you know? That's one thing that, like, I'm not used to is be like, all right, chat, let's go do some Red Dead. And chat's still active, hanging out, having fun. All right, almost ready now, all right? Just keep resting a little bit longer. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, I really like the community uh, for Wild RP too. Sorry, Russ, it's tough to watch. You don't gotta apologize, brother. There's a lot of games that are tough to watch, man. But sometimes I'm gonna stream games I enjoy. Where's the doctor at, brother? All right. Oh, wait, shit. Come on now. I'm putting K you never down. works. K H Y never works. Come on, we'll stand down. Let's go. Is we uh, took care of it here. Should be all right. It's not <clears throat> too bad. Just got kicked by his horse. Understand what's going on, mister? How can I help you, eh? You're the guy who was passed out the other day on the road, right? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember you. You mind if we step in the office together? Of course. After you. Anxious. Anxious. What we need a playlist for is like some like dark like. Hey, why don't you uh, hold on to this for me? Eh? Like some like really like tense Western music. Yo, Don, thank you for the 20 gifties, man. Oh God. Take him off you anyways. And give him back later. Oh no. If you want, you can have a seat. Chat, we need like a. If you don't want to, that's fine. There you go, we'll say about that. Do not like this, Antonio. And don't worry, everything will be fine. Keep my voice down. 
shit, he's whispering. I can't hear. Where's the one where he's sharpening the knife? I can't even see inside, dude. Oh, there we go. That's the perfect one right there, boys. Ah, uh, did McCarthy come back this way? What? What? <laughs> all right. I said I was sorry for hitting your horse, that's all. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. My bad. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's right there. You're the one who's taken up the whole street, bud. How ya? I think this is a lawman right here to my right too, chat. <laughs> it's a bit fast. Hair looks so good, dude. Yeah, I worked pretty hard on that, I'm not lie. I, lo I love the way he looks too. He's more lawmen. Uh, hello. <clears throat> hello. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Do you know anything about somebody needing a doctor here in Valentine? I did not hear anything about that. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's got to be a lawman right there. And I don't know if that's a local or a right. Let go. <laughs> well, uh, is everything all right? Yes. Are you <laughs> sure? I'm sure. <laughs> We're gonna run, bro. Oh my god. What's your name, buddy? My name is Wu. Wu, nice to meet you. I'm Gabriel. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Mm. You look a little bit, you know, maybe you made us a little bit, you know, made us worry a little bit about you. So, what's your story? No? There is nothing to worry about. I am okay. Oh. That doesn't work with okay. me. There's something going on. Hmm? <laughs> We're about to run, bro. There is nothing going on here. You sure? You want a cup of coffee? A cup of tea? I am okay. All I'm right. Just if you say enjoying so. my cigarette. Okay. If you say so. If you need, you need, need a cup of tea, maybe to get you know feel a little bit easy. I'm okay. All right, okay. If you say so. 
<laughs> this music's actually good. I, I, I gotta try not to laugh when I'm RPing though, because I think it ruins the tense vibe. Come on, Tony, get the fuck out of there, bro. Well, we give it a few minutes. See if anyone show up. He's talking to, talking to he's talking to a lawman. He thinks he's wanted, so Wu's very worried. Does any of the cigarettes burn more as you smoke more? No, I think it lasts. I don't think it's that in depth. Dude, I wish I could hear what Tony's saying. Um, see if we can help this person. They're trying to get the road, so I was just um, but but I wanted to say thank you so much. You you helped me out, didn't you? This locked. Ah, fuck, fuck. fuck. I'm gonna grab the horse, dude. If Tony runs, we gotta be ready. Paint paper thin walls like GTA. <laughs> Be a good boy and stay right here, all right? Don't kick me. The chair is gone. Huh? Oh, we can actually see inside now. Lighting is so good, dude. The graphics are just so good. You're welcome. I wish it wasn't worried that um, once I'm healed up and everything, I'll be able to go back to mine and things. But for the moment, I think it's. Dude, if Tony goes to jail, oh my god. Yeah, we can have cinematic cam. True, true, true. 
I kind of want to see like what's going on with Tony though. Thank you so much. Wait, let's hold on. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. You know you um you really you really saved me. <laughs> oh I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I really appreciate it and I've been having the most amazing time since um, I've started getting better and we're actually getting married and everything, so life is very good. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, thank you so much, you know, we, we wouldn't be able to do any of this without your help. So, really appreciate it. <laughs> See if there's somebody to help George. If not, I can always wait in the saloon. Right. Yeah, we're. I'm just trying to. She, she's got. Um, it's been a really tiring day. I was gonna hope. Oh, hopefully, there is uh, law in there. There is um, law, so. Oh, there is. Oh, okay. Yeah, there seems to be two people in there. I mean, you could ask in there, George, and just right. say, wait, you know that. That's alright. No, yeah, that's alright then. Well, um, have you got a telegram? Yeah. Oh, he's out. I don't memorize it though. Well, I can tell you mine if you want. And if you need anything, you can telegram me. Um, we always yeah. like to help out people that we've, you know, that we've nearly met. What happened, right? Let's say, uh, yeah, give me some of my stuff back. Let's get out of here. Have you got that knife as well? Yes. How do I trade? Also, I uh, here take some of this. I'm gonna need it to clean some of your guns. I picked you up some the other day. I mean, let's what get happened in there, Antonio? Let's not talk about him. Let's go. Remember that guy I was telling you about the one that I, me and Al took care of? Took him out to the swamps the other day? Yes. Well, that's what that situation was about. But I was able to talk my way out of it. The thing is, is it sounds like Al gave him a little bit of a story. Me and him went to Ann's bag, or it could be bullshit. But I basically just said, you know, look. All I remember is from yesterday. <clears throat> it was in Ann's bag. Don't remember too much. Got pretty bad memory. But I remember there was a guy who needed some, uh, you know, medical assistance. So we took care of him and took him back to St. Denis. I didn't ask any questions. Long story short, I basically was able to attend a lot of the questions that he was asking me and the questions that he should be asking, uh, you know, the patient that I, we obviously fucked up. So I was able to talk my way out of it, but it was definitely a close one. <clears throat> For a minute there, I was uh, a little uh, shocked and wondering what to do. I will tell the Genzo you spoke to the sheriff. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Tell him what, hey? Tell him what? What are you gonna tell him? Hey? What the fuck are you gonna tell him? You're not gonna fucking tell him anything, that's for sure. He must know. This people might be in trouble, Antonio. Italians. He's telling me he said there was three Italians that took a man. I said, what? So I'm Italian? What does that mean? I didn't? Couldn't fucking believe this. But you did do it. Well, yeah, I mean, of course I did it, but what? I did it because I'm Italian? Come on now. <gasps> can't believe this discrimination against Italians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Donnie, relax. I 
they see. Surprised he didn't bring you in for the question. You know, I'm not going to lie. I think the only reason why I was able to walk out of that is because the other day, me and Al were coming in Valentine. And that guy right there, that sheriff, he was passed out by the uh, telegram. And I he was crying for help. Didn't know he was a lawman. We picked him up, brought him back into town. Now uh, here we are. I see. Hey, you still want to go hunting? I think we must tell Dicenzo about this. All right. Let's head back into town. Let's see. Yeah. Well, it'd be good to loop him in, especially with Al as well. <laughs> hmm. It's not too far for me. You ready to eat some uh, more Italian food or what? Please. No. Hey, you might have to, to be honest, so get your stomach ready. That's all I'm going to say, eh? Especially around this time of the night. You're going to get there to be around dinner time. <laughs> You're going to have to eat some more food. Oh, some pasta sounds good. A little bit of garlic. He really likes food. the sounds. He really looks up to the Chenzo, oh, yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Mm. A little bit of pasta vazu. Oh, that sounds fucking amazing. It does not sound good, Antonio. Hey, what do you want to eat, eh? What do you want to eat? What do you want? What do you? What the fuck do you want to eat, eh? Fish, meat, whiskey. Yeah, all right. Cochino, I can go for some cochinos right now, bro. Peace. Can you cook the fish you shot? Um, I think you can cook food on over a campfire, right, chat? Hey, your horse is a. Uh, your horse is really fucking slow. I'm gonna be honest. You can walk if you wish. Oh, I think I'm fine. Okay. We're not too much further. Is that the train down there? What is that? Dude, look at the fucking backdrop. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Uh, hey, you see that oil? The, uh, the oil field down there, right? Yes. Al was telling me you can make some good money down there. But it's kind of a sketchy little spot. You should go check it out sometime. Oh god, we're gonna die. Just A2 edible chat, pray for me. <laughs> What's the explanation for Wu naming his horse Harry? Uh, we love Harry Brown. And this is the only way we can be with Harry. ever get in a situation like that again I think we need to come up with a plan did you see my signal through the window I know I didn't I wasn't paying attention I was trying to focus on I, the questions yes I, I, I told you to slit his throat <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept my knife next time I'll keep it I think that should be a plan. Anytime me and you are together, if you get questioned, you hand me your things. But keep your knife on you. That way I know you got something to protect yourself with at least. I will not get wrapped in into more of your troubles, Antonio. 
Hey, listen, buddy, all right? Take it easy. All I'm saying is here is you want to do. Don't it's funny because if the lawman were to man. question Wu, he would have been honest. You're going to get stamped eventually. You're either going to run or you're going to have to answer the questions. Either or I'll be there. Listen, your horse isn't doing so well. When's the last time you fed your horse? I don't feed this horse, Antonio. Right, well, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Is Wu able to lie? Wu only lies when he's scared. Stabbing, you know that, right? And he's not scared of anything? Oh, he's scared of a lot. Oh, there's loyalty ready to snitch him out? Yeah, but you guys gotta understand, like, in this time, like, that's not what snitching is to woo. There's no snitching. What's, uh, what's your horse's name anyways, eh? I will not tell you that, Antonio. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. Always. <laughs> Didn't know it was secretive. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna be rich red dead like lying? I mean, well, I don't know, bro. Let's see what happens. All right, how much further are we? We're almost there. Yeah, almost everyone while their piece on crime on like no pixel. Yeah, but it's not snitching in this era. That's the thing, right? Like having a conversation, like it's it, it's just not snitching, chat. Like Wu is not gonna lie to a lawman unless it's to save his own ass. He's he's pretty big on honor and like always telling the truth, but then he's a hypocrite because when it comes to saving himself, he will lie. Which is like it's snitching now like you know in our current time sure but like back then it's like it's it's a different vibe bro and, and on the server too like people are so in character that like you know like Wu's is not willing to die and if you know having to say the truth saves his life like he'll do it but in the same turn Wu will literally kill that sheriff if he tried to take tony so it's kind of it's kind of a funny that's how Wu always gets himself in very bad situations all right we're almost there would we have shot him through the window if tony was in cuffs or like showing signs of like needing help we would have done crazy shit, yeah. <laughs> Where the what? fuck did it? <laughs> what are you doing, Antonio? Did you, eh? Oh, God. Hey, listen, I'm not gonna lie. About a couple days ago, I had a doctor help me out. Put these salts under my nose. Ever since, I've been seeing things. <laughs> Bears, wolves, bam. <clears throat> I go hunting, right? I see this bam. So I take it down. I turn around. I go to get Goofy, my horse. Next thing you know, I look back, it's not there. <laughs> it's gotta be something in those salts. Convenient. I don't know what's going on with me. Alright, we're almost there.
The subwords have 50% to make an animal sound. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully one of the, the Genzos are around, especially Big Al. Yes. It is good if we let them know what happened back there. Yeah, we gotta let them know just in case, Stein. You know, stories align, things are right, you know, all good. Yes. Hey, you still got that fish to sell, right? That is my food. Antonio. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, maybe they can cook it for you at the house, eh? I hope we run to Sab tonight, too, Chad. Also, uh, well, I'm going to need your help next week if you're going to be uh, around. Next Wednesday, got the uh, first event here at the theater. I'm going to be uh, selling tickets for it. What does that mean? Well, I... Uh, Big guy was talking to me about a uh, a plan that he has for the theater. I think we can make some good money from it. Went to him yesterday and he dipped and he dipped over here. Yeah, because we want to like make oh, it more natural, right? Plan when we get there, if he's around. Do you own this theater, Antonio? No, but I want to. We're putting on our first show to show the people that I, you know, we could do something like this. You see. You, uh, you remember a guy named Victor? No. Mm. Well, Victor knows the owners. But it's Wednesday. I'm gonna throw a little event. And hopefully, once the owners see it, maybe they'll be willing to sell it. Person or at least, uh, you know, to pay a price to host events and I see. All right, well, looks like we're in. Remember, when you walk inside, make sure to take off your coat. Take off your gun belt and die. Uh, well, you ain't got a hat, so you'll be fine. Hello. Hey, good to see you. How you doing? I don't. Which one? Hey, you know if I, 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 well, right. you know if Al's around? Uh, Al, no, I don't think he's around. I didn't see him. All right, no way, saying. Uh, what about Mister uh, Dicenzo? Uh, Senor and Senor Dicenzo are inside right now. Oh shit! You wish right. to talk to him? Yeah, yes. I got some uh, information. I got to talk to him about. All right. Um, I'll uh, I'll let them know. I'll be right back. All right, appreciate it. <laughs> Are we gonna let's do All right, Mr. Corleone, please come inside. Of course. Please pick up the coat here in the long arm as well. Right. How do we take off our gun belt? Uh. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's going on? Whoa, hey, yo. Hey, how you whoa. doing? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing fine. How about you? Doing all right. Not too bad. <laughs> hey, Just woke up. Oh, everyone's here. Okay, shit. Yeah, everyone's here. Come on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Mr. DiCenzo, good to see you. How are you? Likewise. Good, good. How are you? Doing all right. I, I like to have a second of your time if you got a moment. Is this a private conversation, or are you uh, okay with speaking up here in front of everybody? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
no offense, gentlemen, but I a little private situation if you don't mind. Oh come on, these players are so okay. shit. All right, well uh, everybody wait here. So Zara, you and I, we can go to uh, the office with Mr. Come. About that? I forgot to take off my What's hatchet. It? You sure? You don't want uh, anybody else there? So Zara and myself, you want to come? No, I'm just just making sure. Oh come, my bro. God, bro! I got Shame it! I got it! Ain't about wanting to come. All right, that's not what it's about. Well, <laughs> players are so shit. If you can't come, uh, this motherfucker then you thinks I'm talking know. about my piece of deal over here. Get out of your mind, out of the fuck you hey, Keep your fucking scuttle in your pants. You should get it. You should get it back. Disappointment. All right, never mind. Get the fuck out of here. All right, thank you, Dima. Fuck it. Hey, that's what we're working with, bro. How you doing, Danny? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Long time no see. I literally got to spend an hour after a stream and just. Combing through songs that I know. It's good timing, Mr. Corleone. Mr. Wu, my brother just returned today from his um, leave of absence. He's uh, he's back from business outside of the city. Nice. Beautiful. Well, I, I won't take too much of your time then. Mr. Corleone, how you doing, eh? Hey, doing all right. Good to, be, uh, good to see you. Antonio. Hey, you too. Um, look, I, we had a little incident happen yesterday. Mm -hmm. We had a guy that I kind of came around. He was out front of the house being really disrespectful towards I, towards me, Amadeo, and I, and Al. Came by riding on his horse, uh, calling us dirty people. And, uh, you know, just being uh, really disrespectful. So, Al and Amadeo took after him on the road, pulled him off the horse, and, uh, you know, roughed him up a little bit. Still, I uh, continue to be disrespectful during all of this. So, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll grab them by the neck, punch them in the back a couple of times. We took them out to the swamp. I want to make sure, you know, we teach him a lesson. He was being uh, very, very disrespectful. So, took him out to the swamp, took care of some things, and, uh, you know, played a little game with him, flipped a coin. If it landed on heads, we take him back into town, act like nothing happened. You know, and maybe if it land on tails, another story. During this whole time, I was trying to teach him a lesson. He still didn't land. Except Kane, uh, you know, step, kept saying uh, very disrespectful things towards the uh, Italians here in the town. And that he was rich and we were below him. And that it didn't matter what we did. That his father would take care of it with all of his money. So, uh... Played the game, landed on heads, came to the conclusion, he apologized, brought him back here into the town, act like he had got, you know, attacked, and, uh, you know, took him to the doctors. Well, but apparently he broke the deal and uh, went to a lawman and started talking about some things. Yesterday, me and Alan and Valentine, doing a little bit of poker, show me the ropes. I'll get taken out and, uh, has to uh, be talked to in the uh, sheriff's department. As I'm listening in on the back, I hear another deputy go, the man in the black out there, go grab him. I didn't know if I should stick around at night. So I got on my horse, went down to Blackwater and rest my head for the night. I'm see now, but uh, I think he's doing all right. I would imagine so. Because went to Valentine, me and I, Wu here, were doing a little bit of hunting. Got kicked by the horse. Going to Valentine, there's the deputy from yesterday. And uh, the one that was talking to Al. He wanted to ask me some questions, so we went into the back. And he started asking about this guy. Saying that he had bruises all over him, smelled like alcohol. And of course we did that to him, but it came down to the guy if he could prove it or not. About 10 minutes, 15, about asking some questions, and I, I was able to walk out of there. But I definitely think he's a little suspicious. The guy I described this as three Italians, matched our description with the coats. So uh, I'm going to have to take care of this guy if we see him again. But I'm a little worried because he said we would be speaking again. So I wanted to tie you in, let you know everything that was going on. Interesting. Mr. Corleone, you're getting yourself into some trouble. Hey, listen, all right? The guy was being really disrespectful towards us. I need a stance. So, you know, 
how to take care of things. I'm not going to let somebody walk all over me and definitely not Al and Amadeo, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, believe me, I would have done the same. Perhaps worse. Now, um, it's good that you talked your way out of that issue with the law. They may be suspicious, but if they let you walk, most of the time, in my experience, that pretty much means you're good. Right. Otherwise, well, you'd be in the fucking, you'd be in the can. I think it helps as well that I, this deputy, while we were going to the town, me and Al, to play some poker, as we got there, the deputy that was there, didn't know at the time he was the deputy, but he was passed out by the telegram, a little up the hill from it. I got attacked by some wolves and we uh, saved his life. I think uh, when we took him back in a valentine and dropped him off there, he could have possibly maybe looked the other way because of what we did. We had no idea he was law though, but you know, I feel like he let me walk because of that. God damn. So this schmuck, this uh, guy that's um, probably got a problem with Italians and thinks uh, he's uh, rich and whatnot. You yeah, you name? know he's... You know me with names. Yeah, I do know you with names. You know my yeah. name? Yeah, Santino. Uh, you know my <laughs> brother's name? One thing... Oh, yeah. If, uh, your brother said he just got back in town, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean... You met him before. Cesare. The Cesare. Cesare, yeah. I of know. course, apologies. Oh, I know what he looks like. Names. We gotta got get this resolved. Yeah, I listen. This fix. Listen. I'm not gonna lie to you. I write it down in my journal. I got the names, and I got what they look like, and I and I try to remember. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm, I'm going through some things. Okay, I'd I'm terrible right. with names. All right. I, you're new to the crossing, and whatnot. You're, you're discovering yourself. You're like a you're like a you know a young a young teenager just coming out of puberty and whatnot. That's oh. fine. <laughs> it's fine. You just know, I gotta take my it. time. You know, I meet a lot of people. You know what I mean? A lot of names, a lot of places. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I, this guy, I'll explain his uh, his look for you. He's got a black coat with a gold inlining, black vest, black slacks, uh, black shoes. Uh, I think he had a white t-shirt on as well. Uh, kind of like the one I'm wearing now, similar. I recall as well, I think he had about uh, a black hat on, a uh, top hat, and... Uh, what do you call those things? I have the eye. Uh, and it's like glasses, but it's not a glasses. It's like for his right eyes. Like it was gold, I forget. It's like I uh, I don't know what you call it. Looking looks like he's like wearing monocle? some glass. Yeah, yeah, something like that. It was really really proper looking to be honest. It was gold, you know, had a little chain on it that came down from the side. Yeah, yeah, like a monocle. Yeah, monocle. yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Sorry. And I uh, mustache as well. Black. Did he talk in a specific way? Did he have an an, an accent? Uh, um, kind of proper, he... to be honest. He sounded like he was a like a very uh, posh, posh, you know, like a very uppity voice. So he had like an like an English accent. Yeah, from, English. From... That's right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But I never heard of this guy before, and uh, I don't think Al has either. Amadeo. He could be a new guy around town. I think that's about right, actually. Yeah, he said he just got here not too long ago. And that he's very, uh, very rich. And his father has a lot of money. And that if we did anything to him, that his father would be very upset. I see. Okay, well, let's make sure we don't make Daddy angry or nothing, right? Right, right. <laughs> well, look, you did the right thing. Society, what do you think, huh? I'm just curious as to uh, what the next step is. What do you have planned? I mean, that's the thing, right? If we already made a deal with him once to, uh, you know, not talk to law, and obviously he did that, well, the next plan is going to have to be something that's uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, life-threatening, if you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> but then that comes in. He disrespected us once, did it twice, didn't respect the deal. But now if we do this, who knows who his father is, if he's talking out of his ass at night, we could have more problem. You know, but I, I'll do whatever you want. 
Just want to make sure this is settled. I'll give you my opinion, Sonny. I'll give you my opinion, too. Let me ask you something before that, though. Two things. First off, this gentleman here, I'm not too familiar with him. Just got back in town, so uh, <laughs> maybe you guys made introductions before, but I'm uh, not too sure who he is. <clears throat> in no ways, this is a long friend of mine. His name's name Wu. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wu, how you doing, huh? I'm doing all right. Good, good. Okay. Now, regarding this um, action plan of yours, how important is this guy to you? Like, um, I understand the disrespect. It's a big thing. You taught him a lesson. Is it worth it, though? I mean, that's the is thing, it? right? So, I mean, you know, if we're talking respect, then it's definitely worth it. You know, he's very disrespectful, but if we're looking at the bigger picture here. I mean, is it going to be worth it? I don't know who his father is. I don't know if he's talking about his ass. That's for sure. If we do something again and he survives, is he going to go talk to the law to cause bigger problems for us? So I think it's in, uh, it's in your court. You know, I want to make sure I, I don't overstep here. Yeah, we, we've had issues with similar people like this before. Where you teach him a lesson, you slap him across the face a couple of times, and you tell him don't do it again. The guy does it again next week. Boom. Then what do you do? You fucking stab him or something, right? Tell him right. don't do it again. It's going to be worse. Boom. Guy does it again the next two weeks. What are you going to do after that? You're going to pull the fucking bullet in him? And then what? What if he keeps doing it again? My point here is... This person, is it worth your effort? Is it worth your, the, your time in prison, your fines, all of that bullshit? Over someone that's not going to learn to respect you. Instead, opposed to that, what you can do is you can stain his reputation. Fuck him in the long term. Huh? Whoever he is, if he's connected, don't give a fucking shit. You could kill him today. His family can come tomorrow. We'll deal with it. No problem. The point here is... If you deal with him in a different way, in a more, uh, like I said, staining his reputation, telling people that he's a fucking disrespectful scumbag, whatever you want to do, maybe that yeah, might like go that. a little bit longer, right? Instead <laughs> right. of you having your two seconds of fucking glory putting a bullish at him, which, you know, I, I'm not opposed to. I'm not opposed to, but I'm, I'm looking here at the options for you, Mr. Coleon. You're going to, you know. Put the fucking bullets into the guy, or are you gonna maybe uh, do something that'll make you last longer out here in the fucking beautiful Saints Crossing, eh? Yeah, you got a point. You're not wrong there. I like the idea you uh, you know, brought up. Yeah, I like that. It's a good idea. Eh? Sonny, what do you think about that? Huh? Maybe you have a different mindset of these things, but I guess that's why we do what we do. You know, you're the fucking yin and the fucking yang over here. Something like that, huh? I'm the, I'm the fucking, yeah. I'm, I'm the, I'm the what, what do you call it? I'm the ganola and you're the fucking, uh, what are you, huh? <laughs> Cream? Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, side, yeah, side, of side course. you're getting sidebar over here. Anyways, go ahead. Go ahead, Sonny. Look, I'm of a different mindset. My brother's right. We tend to uh, have diff different opinions and maybe that's what makes us um, a very good a very good pair when it comes to making decisions and thinking th things through because he thinks one way, I think another. My opinion, think about what's happened right now. The man disrespected you. You beat him up. He goes to the law. Yeah, you, Al gets arrested. You get arrested. Whoever else gets arrested, maybe, etc. And then you don't do nothing afterwards. In his mind, he's warned. In his mind, he says, hey, these guys aren't going to do nothing to me because I'm protected by the law. He feels safe in the embrace of the law system here in the Saints Crossing. But I tell you what, this family does not give a fuck about anybody feeling safe within the law system of this country. They are not safe. They are not protected. And I think it's important for people to understand that they cannot hide from us behind the law because we will find them eventually. Tomorrow, next week, a year from now. And if necessary, we will gun them down. Because that is what they deserve. My opinion, you should take more action. I'm a little tired here. I like both of the ideas. 
Well, how about Mr. Wu? What do you think, Mr. Wu? <laughs> I do not care if a man I do not know disrespects me. He's not worth my time. Exactly. That's my fucking point right there. <laughs> now, if, if this guy would have come over here and shot one of your brothers, yeah? Spilled your blood. You want blood in return? Okay, you know, we'll be like, hey, you know what? Maybe it's a good idea. Right? Eye for an eye type of bullshit. Guy just said a couple words. Disrespected you. He's nobody. Who are you? Be, a, be, be on a higher fucking stance than the guy. That's my opinion, eh? Maybe we should have a, uh, a talk with Al and Amadeo as well. See what they want to do. It was all three of us after all, so we'll hold off on a little bit. Wait until I meet with them again. See what their uh, what their approach they want to do is. Whatever you do, if you're doing it with them, Bonucci, Moretti, let's have another conversation about it. Yeah? Of course. <laughs> yeah. I fucking this love room. this guy. <laughs> However you want to go about it, we'll talk about it. We'll figure something out, okay? All right, no ways. And I, I got another thing I wanted to bring up. Nothing too serious, but I uh, want to ask about that a lady. I think her name starts with an E. Uh, F E uh, E V. I forget what it is. She uh, lots of Effies around here. Lives in that big house. One with all the wheat. Know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, it's Effie May. It's um, what's the name of the fucking place? Is out of here? Wait, Manor. Wait, wait. Yeah, she's really fucking rude and disrespectful, as well with her husband. I was being told by Maxie that I'm. You guys had a, a little run in with them in the past, is that true? Hmm. We had a run in with her ex husband, who's now dead. <laughs> Lying. I don't think they like me. I don't really like them. And did you, um, did you do anything to upset her specifically? Just, just to be well, clear. to be honest, I, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll tell you how it is. The other day, you know, Maxie took me around there, and I, uh, you know, she was trying to introduce me to some people, and she was pretty rude, you know. But I, you know, I didn't really pay too much mind to it. You know, I just said, all right, no ways. I'll, you know, be seeing you around. We left, right? About four days ago. We go back there, me, Wu, Maxi, and I, uh, Marcus, and I uh, start picking some wheat. That wasn't a problem. We went down in front of the house, and their, uh, I think, new husband or whatever the hell he is, decided, uh, you know, being disrespectful towards uh, towards me in front of my friends, talking about, you know, me and this running girl that were uh, ton buddies or something like that. I didn't really appreciate it, so I told him, and he got disrespected. And I, you know, he disrespected me, so I disrespected him. And then it became into a, uh, you know, a point where he basically told me to get off his property else he was going to kill me. I didn't really like that. So, uh, you know, we left. But it doesn't sit right with me. I threatened to kill me over it. What I'm saying is, this lady, she's uh, not that nice. And her husband's not that nice either. So, you know. I feel like I, I don't know if something's going to happen there, but at least you should know just in case. We've had good relations with Effie, despite the whole thing in the past with her ex-husband. She's been good with us. We've been good with her. There's been no direct bad blood with her as a result of any of that. And just to be clear, her husband, her ex-husband being dead, it wasn't us. Not for lack of trying, though. Right. Now look, I don't know what that man's capable of. I really don't. And I don't know if his mindset haven't talked to her in a while. If you'd like, we could have a chat with her. We could find out what the real sentiment is. Who's this? Yeah, one of like I said, he's a very look, solid I just don't character. Want to cause he's a very background character. For, uh, you know, you and the family. I, I, you know, if this guy tries something and then I gotta, you know, retaliate back. 
I don't want to cause any issues, especially if you got business together. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Don't worry about it. Antonio, we'll do this for you. Damn. But you right. remember that we did this for you in the future. Of course. Capish. Capish. I will never forget. Hey, you got some more of that Italian food? You want some gabagool? Oh, yeah. I'll take some gabagool. You got some? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's some in the kitchen. Look at right. some of those boxes back there. I appreciate it. No problem. You going to be around, by the way? Oh, yeah. I'll be around. I think for uh, a couple more hours. And then I'm going to get some rest. I got a big day tomorrow. Okay. I, I, I don't, uh, didn't get your telegram directly, but I believe I overheard it yesterday at some point. It's, um, uh, SE317. Correct. That's right. You keep an eye on those telegrams, right? You check yeah, them keep regularly. An eye. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Good. Every time I go into a town, I take a look. You keep an eye on those fucking telegrams still, because I might reach out to you soon. We might have something lined up for you. And in that case as well, Mr. Wu. Yes. Since you two seem, uh, quite close. Like you, I like to put you both to work. So you keep an eye on those telegrams. All right, we'll do. And I wanted to tell you something as well. Next Wednesday, we're going to be uh, hosting an event at the theater. Al had a pretty good idea to bring some uh, people in. I got a couple of people I've been meeting as well for entertainment. And I uh, would love to have you there. Oh, you can count on our presence 100%. We'll Absolutely. be Absolutely. All right, nice. I can definitely uh, count both of you in then, right? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Nice. Just got to, uh, you know, reserve some of the, uh, the seats there, you know? I want to get <laughs> so a little bit packed. So how's it sitting on mm -hmm. Tony? Yeah, make sure you got like a, what do you call it, uh, an invitation <laughs> list. Right. Of course. All right. Well, I really appreciate your time, gentlemen. And uh, I'll be seeing you around, all right? If you need anything at all, you know how to reach me. Absolutely. You know where to find us too. Uh, ciao, ciao. Thank you for the information and for the talk. Huh? No worries. Stay Take it safe, easy. Sir. How much? <laughs> How much what? How much money? <laughs> How much money what? For the job. <laughs> I haven't given you the job yet, Wu. I said I'll give you the job afterwards. <laughs> oh, 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 hold, 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 hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I know what he's doing here. Eh? Um... And we did we did the formality with Mr. Uh, Mr. Colion one time, and we could do it here too, right? <laughs> I got this, old dog. Give me a second, man. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I know you were asking about the job, but next time you come around here, we're looking for work and all that, come in a... A nice uh, two-piece suit. Mr. Colion can tell you exactly what we're looking for, eh? That's right. No shot is going to give me money. Thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. Get yourself something, something good, something, uh, something to fit the part. Yeah, you got a little bit of holes in your fucking pants over there. You gotta, you know, watch out with that goddamn axe you got in your hip as well. You know, you're gonna get yourself cut. Look at that shit. It's almost touching your scut off. For Christ's sakes, what the hell are you doing with that? Huh? You're gonna cut the your game. fucking cock off. All right, that sounds good. Huh? You uh, oh, I... make sure next time he comes, he's in a suit and I uh, get him in the proper clothes. I really appreciate you taking care of him. And no problem at all. My pleasure, boys. Listen, stay safe. Don't be don't be declaring fucking conflicts and shit on people. It's a sure way to the fucking grave. All right. If you have any problems, you come to us. We'll sort you out. We'll try to as much as possible. And if we cannot, then we'll fucking solve it together. No matter what. As long as all we right. stick as a unit. All right. Go ahead. Of course. Take it easy. I'll be seeing you around. Hello, brosy, my child. Huh? Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Take it easy. <laughs> I fucking love our ping. Dude, I can be in this house all day around these motherfuckers, bro. And don't forget <laughs> your right, Cole. All right. Let's go get you that suit, man. Double 
would not buy a suit with this, Antonio. Well, yeah, I'm going to need to <laughs> if you want to jam, that's for sure. What do you think they're going to do if they find out that you took that money and took it somewhere else and you didn't buy a suit? I need whiskey. No. I don't want to leave the house, dude. Like, I just want to be in there all fucking day. You're not doing day. this to me. And you're not doing it to yourself, that's for sure. It's a good opportunity here, right? Can't pass this up. Antonio. Oh, wait. Sure, but what? Antonio. That's my name. If you ever decide to free my bond from you, I will leave you for that family. <laughs> mm. Right. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to be in the same family then, right? <laughs> it's not my choice. Nor is it mine. I got it, sorry. Right, let me order some uh, sushi real quick, chat. Seemed to go well with them, though. So that's, uh, that's a good note for sure. They come this way. Isn't there like a thing where it just comes with a bunch so we don't have to... Oh, did you get here? Oh, it's a bull. Okay. Um, that's all you're gonna get. Okay. Yeah, uh, Wu absolutely admires that family. But that's that's the life that he wants. All right. I'll be out here. You're going to want a uh, two-piece suit. And then make sure uh, you get yourself a nice jacket as well, all right? And uh, maybe some dress shoes. Don't do boots. Yes, I know how to dress like an idiot. I hang out with you, Antonio. <laughs> I don't know if hang out is a word I can use, though. Um, New outfit. All right, let me order some food real quick. We'll make the outfit. Hold on. Spend time. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. One sec, I'm just ordering some sushi. Get me a nice little Coca-Cola. Even though I should really stop drinking soda, but fuck it. All right. Uh, okay, so we have to dress. We'll do like moderately nice. Ooh, I like that with the chain on it, bruh. Oh, they don't have like a red. I want to try to mimic Lang's suit. A little bit. Oh, that's too fancy.
You guys like that? Bro, that kind of goes hard, bro. Ooh. Uh, too much red, maybe. Long looks better. Oh, let's see all the other jackets they have. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, too Canadian. Oh, this is the one that Tony wears. I don't want to copy the same jacket. Hold on. The oh, fuck? Like this one? Okay, okay, I like this one, bro. 46, remember that one, 46. I kind of like no jacket too, to be honest. I like, I think we're gonna go with 46. Oh, this one's clean, but how do I make it fit my body, chat? The clipping will go away? It will when you leave? Okay, okay. You sure? I'm about to spend 50 bucks on this shit, chat. Don't fuck me up here, man. Oh, it's already gone. Oh, okay. What? Oh, my God. I forgot which one we had. Oh, this one. I kind of like this one. Wait, hold on. I like the white. Listen, guys, you guys always diss me for doing all black, man. I'm trying to add color. and You guys keep saying black now. I'll be on in a little bit. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> Tony, you good, buddy?
No hat. Wu's not a hat guy. Guys, you guys are sure that's going to get fixed once I leave? That's the boots? Uh... Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. That's weird. Oh, those are good right there. Perfect. Um... Poncho clo cloak. Oh, what the fuck? What's the bell wasn't so like lopsided? Kind of ruins it a little bit. Uh, what do we call it? How do we leave? We just close? Oh, what the fuck is this pencil on my head? Hey, you Wang. Looking good, huh? Let me see. What do you got, Aim? All right. I like the way you're looking. It looks nice. I like it a lot. I hate it. Hey, yeah, well, too bad. You need it for the job, so, uh, yeah. You're gonna need it. How do I fix that? The pencil? That's the accessory? Do I gotta pay to fix it? Oh, my God. Fuck it. Okay. Jesus, you look like fucking shit. <laughs> oh no, we'll wear that when we go do the job. Wu's not gonna casually wear that suit. All right, you want a drink, right? One yes. on me, since you actually bought the outfit and didn't spend it on money or uh, you know alcohol. So, what do you think you'll do to the men, Antonio? Not too sure yet. I don't want to make any decisions without uh, Alan um, uh, Amadeo. <coughs> Initially, I do like uh, I do like my revenge, but it's like uh, it's as I was saying, you know, revenge comes at a cost. That I, you know, two or three minutes feeling good might just cause more trouble but you know we'll see these all people or locals all right what do you want whiskey all right this welfare he likes saint denis this is kind of a city, yeah. All right, I am. Jeez. Ahem. <clears throat> 
maybe we should go check the telegram, eh? Is that your horse? Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, St. Denise is probably my favorite city, yeah. So what do you think of the Dicenzos? You like them? <clears throat> Good people, right? I wish I met them before I met you, Antonio. Listen, goddammit. I'm not going to take you being disrespectful anymore, all right? No one was gotten into you. It's not disrespect, it's honesty. Disrespect yeah, would be like. Well, you being you. honest is kind of goddamn disrespectful, all right? It's how I feel. Well, leave if you want. You fucking I did not. <laughs> what do we do if Antonio released them? Probably never hang out with them again. Way for who to forgive Tony? Yeah, get him his money. Oh, Needs oh, fast travel me, this Mr. game? Corleone. No. Oh, God. Is that you, Mr. Flint? <laughs> well, I'll be. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, sir. It's good to see you as well. I see, uh, see you wearing the array. Uh, your suit again, looking nice. Well, sir, you wouldn't believe it. I done ruined my suit again, but that our good mutual friend Victor done purchased me another one. Hey, well, there you are. Looking good. I like the look. Well, sir, I had just written you a telegram. Written you a telegram I had. I was wondering what the nature of this performance is going to be. I tell you what. Why don't we go uh, take a look at the theater? Have you been over there yet? Oh, well, yes, sir. Well, that... Pretty girl, Miss Rennie, she done showed me it herself. <laughs> oh, you think she's pretty, eh? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so you'd have to lose your eyes to not believe that. <laughs> oh, well. Keep the name out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course. Meet me at the theater in about three minutes. We need to check a telegram. Of course, sir. Appreciate that, Will. <laughs> that was some Will Smith shit. Get my name out of her mouth. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Quite all right. Zwu, sign up to Mr. Corleone. Well, oh, we'll see, that's what we want to happen, right? But like I said, Chad, I, you know, I'm sticking to the character. Like, like I said, if, if Tony turned around and said, you're free of the bond, there's no reason for Wu to ever come interact with Tony ever again. Now, do we want that to change and there to be loyalty and, and love between the two characters? Of course. But like I said, you know, that, that, that is up to whatever happens.
until he realizes that Tony's his only friend. Yeah, I mean, he might. There might be realizations like that, right? Barely speaks, gets made, smack Jesse, Lee. Like I said, Wu is a very quiet character. Fuck okay, I guess I'll check my telegrams. <clears throat> Nothing. <laughs> Wu's got no friends, man. He hates everybody. Where'd my cigar go? Oh, it's scuffed. Maybe change the pace from length. Yeah, I definitely, like I said, I, I really wanted to play a completely sort of kind of character in the way we approach RP. It makes it feel more fresh for me. What the hell is Tony writing, bro? You writing a book there, Antonio? Ah, uh, you know, seems like I'm a pretty popular guy today. I got about <laughs> eight telegrams I gotta reply to. It's gonna be a moment. <laughs> Sorry. You go around staring for Tony's so us to fix it. Is the exact opposite of lying. <laughs> the deadline would call everyone Peckerwood instead of cocksucker. <laughs> oh, let's watch some clips. Pretty girl, Miss Rennie, she done showed me it herself. Oh, you think she's pretty, eh? Oh, well. So you'd have to lose your eyes to not believe that. <laughs> Keep a name out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of Meet course. me at the theater in about three minutes. We need to check a telegram. Of course, sir. <laughs> Ooh, that was badass, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Appreciate that, Will. <laughs> you want to go hunting? Did Jason's ever shit in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. I didn't have his, you know, bathroom schedule duty, so I wouldn't know. Well, of course he did. How else did we get the holy shit? Let's go. Make her you know, love you. No, they, they do say, you know, the way to the heart is through the stomach, so. Yeah. Loki Speedy does like Mary, man. But, like, Mary's too sexy yeah, for Speedy, bro. He's because, gonna say you know, something wrong and fucking get banned from the YouTube. server. <laughs> Because every time I walk by Maddie, I look at that ass, and I'm like, damn, that's fucking big hunky hunk. Yeah, I mean, other than <laughs> but I can't that, say it in game, you know? Fucking Maddie Tires, bitch. So. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I could see somebody doing a business to this. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh, 
Who was that kid? Ah, uh, he's a... Uh... Uh, this kid, he's something, all right, I'll tell you that. He claims he's, uh, you know, making investments, uh, trying to get investors for his business. His father has a large sum of cash coming through. And, you know, he's going to be opening up shop here real, real soon, as soon as that money comes. But I can see right through the kid. He's a scammer. He definitely... Uh, Got no business opening up. He's got no money on the way. He went around asking for people in investments in overalls and a ripped t-shirt. <laughs> claiming he uh, comes from a rich family. Second day in his town here, he gets in a bank job with Jim. Of course, that goes south. So, you know. Now, I, I obviously seen through a lot of his shit already. They offered him a job. An opportunity. Gonna come work at the theater on that event on Wednesday. I see. I think the theater should be down this way. I love, I love Blau's voice for that character of chat. Last character models per yeah the, he really nailed the character model too i think we all did tony looks great i think wu looks great uh, that's right, the big thing too is always like making the character to match the voice is such a big thing for me Uh, there's NPCs, but it's just the Wild West, so it's not, like, packed with hundreds of thousands of people. All right. Here's the place. Good to see you, Mr. Flint. Sorry for the wait. Had to take oh. care of some things. Oh, Mr. Corleone, no problem, no problem at all. And again, oh, I meant no disrespect earlier. When I was, well, speaking of, uh, the young lady who done escort me through your theater, what I meant to say was that she was pretty friendly, sir. That's what I meant to say. I didn't mean anything regarding her looks, sir, just her demeanor. Oh, of course, sir. <clears throat> oh, my God. It's a pretty beautiful place, isn't it? Holy shit. Well, it, it depends. Am I going to receive the same? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen. Jesse, Mr. Flint, this isn't a test, all right? Of course, sir, of course. Look, I... Uh, let me put on my coat. Give me a second. Of course, sir. Take your time. <laughs> all right. The event is going to be for uh, next Wednesday. <laughs> 6 p.m. PST. <laughs> I think you're a pretty friendly guy. Overnight, I was thinking about some things that you could possibly do, whether that be an act or, you know, something along those lines. But I actually think you would be a great host. Somebody that people, you know, you can welcome people in, get them seated, and make sure they're uh, having a great time. Do you think you could handle that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could handle that. All right. Well, as you being the host, I'm going to need you to find a couple people. One, we're going to need a bartender. Somebody who can save drinks. Two, we're going to need somebody who can make some food. If you can find these people, it would save me some time. And I can pay you for that. Of course, sir. Well, this makes all the sense in the world, sir. You are the captain of this ship, and I am wrangling you up a crew is what it sounds like. Right. Let's go ahead and take a walk around. Dude, this is incredible. This is where we'll have the bartender. I don't know if you can see, but there's already some boxes back there. 
Um, should be some supplies left over from the last onus. We could probably use those. We're going to need a bad tender here. Maybe one, possibly two. Uh, well, I mean, definitely one, possibly two. That's for sure. Uh, save whiskey, scotch, the normal. Go in here. Oh, my God. I love that I never played this game. This is where the main event will be. Al's got a big plan for us. Uh, something lined up. We're still working on that. Oh, my God. Dude, look at the fucking work, dude. Save use interior. What does that mean? Pre preview next interior. I probably shouldn't press that, right? Do it. What does it do? You should. It's a part of it. Oh, it's oh. Whoa. Oh my God. This is so fucking cool. Christ, you all right there, Mr. Hey, yeah, hey, howdy, everyone. Didn't know anyone was in here. What's who's putting on a show? Oh, we're planning a show for next Wednesday. Dude, there's more Jesus. Can you go anywhere else, chat? Upstairs. How do we get up there? Through here? Wait, what? Oh, I see, I see. Cool. Lobby and go left. Was Randy in chat? Yo, what's up, Randy? All right, man. Bruh. Anyways. Oh, I'm my saying. God. I'm going to need about three things so far. One, it's going to be a bad tender. If you can find two, great. But if not, one will do. Next time, I'm going to need somebody to hand out the tickets. Hey, blink in our feet. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Relax, chat. <laughs> this is so cozy, dude. Can you get, can you go higher or not? Nah? Oh, hey, woo. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. You gonna walk by without saying hi? What do you want, Marcus? I, I, I can't want to talk to my friend. I'm not your friend. My best friend. Do not say that. My compadre <laughs> am, am my amigo. I will kill you, Marcus. I know, I know. One day, last thing I see before I turn to sleep, your face. Yes. It's gonna be romantic. <laughs> oh, my nose! Woo, you fucking bastard! Ow! You alright, Woo? Yes. What do you think of the place, son? You liking? What 
think I'm gonna I break don't think we can afford you. this, Antonio. You're gonna be my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't have to afford it right now. Hopefully, one day. <laughs> Just uh, you know, run a little test here, testing the wireless, seeing if the people like it, if it's worth it. I see. What now, Mister? Also, Corey, every I'm ticket not... will be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars a ticket. Can you not sit here? Oh, it's just sit. I forgot. Pain in the ass. Why don't you go introduce yourself, man? Unable to detect your bench location. Okay. Oh, you can't sit? Sir, my name is Flint, Jesse Flint. All due apologies for my disrespect earlier. I just want to say that was, well, that was one mean punch you done throw there. I tell you what, if someone told me I had to fight you, I fight that hound that guards the gates of hell, I would pick the hell any day. <laughs> Sir, the, like I said, the pleasure's all mine, all mine indeed. I, I heard your name was Wu, so I, I'll just write that down in my journal that I done met you. Uh, the, pleasure, the, the pleasure's, uh, it, it's a... Uh, the pleasure's all mine, sir. <laughs> well, dude, that voice is S here, dude. It, it, it's actually it's S here. How do you sit down on the chair, chat? Well, Listen, don't worry I'll... about Wu, all right? Just don't piss him off, and then he won't kill you. Well, that e? seems uh, easy enough. Easy enough, indeed. Have you met the Decenzos yet? Uh, no, sir. I done heard about them, but never met any of them. All right. Well, since you're going to be helping out with the event on Wednesday, maybe I should go introduce you to some of them. You're going to be meeting them anyways. Let's head over to the house. Now I got to have a valentine. Got some business to take care of over there. Oh, he's gone. I thought he's... Oh, it'd be so funny also, if he was just on the ground. <laughs> I love this theater. This place is absolutely amazing. I wonder if you can do custom stuff on Red Dead like you can with GTA or if it's not that far ahead yet. The Chenzo's house is custom? Really? Okay, I take the bourbon. All right. Let's head to the uh, Chenzo's house. See if Al's there. You can meet him. Yeah, we have a fail there. Whoa, my good friend. Hey, look who I found. And Tony, Tony, buddy. Hey, good to see look, you. Look who I found. Who's hey, that? how you doing? How are you? Is that Moxie? You know what uh, we were discussing on the way over here while I was nursing my nose? Oh, what happened to your nose, huh? Oh, some, you know, love tap, really. But uh, Rennie, she's interested in being an actress. No, she's thinking Marcus. About it. I told her what you were doing down here, what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, she knows. We talked I about it the other day. But I don't think I want to go up there and act. I said I would do security. Amadeo's going to be helping out with security as well. You and him, All right. uh, you and him can, uh, you know, work with each other. Yeah, I was fine. showing uh, Mr. Flynn in here the uh, lay of everything. He's going to get oh, us yeah, a bartender yeah. and okay. a cook as well. I forgot my coat inside. I'll be right back. I got to go grab it. All right. Nice to see you, Jesse. Hey, hey woo. You <laughs> ever think about acting? I bet you could put on a big smile. <laughs> 
So I don't you're smile. Really... Yes. All right, well, you could play a stoic, a stoic role. <laughs> or, uh, you know, maybe we get a part together and uh, you could play my best friend, my, my amigo. We go on adventures together. You know, that, that'd I would be rather our parts. Eat big shit, Marcus. That could be, you know, we could arrange that. That could be a funny scene where you eat pig shit on the stage. <laughs> I go, who else but woo? And everyone in the audience laughs. I cannot stand being around him, Antonio. Yeah, he's starting to piss me off. Marcus, you're doing a really good job today at pissing me off. I'm going to be honest. Marcus, of all people pissing you off, come on. He's the life of the party. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. Listen, All right, look. Listen. I better get Wu out of here before he fucking kills you. He's not gonna kill me. I will I kill listen. you. I'm one step away. You ever uh, you ever have one of those chocolates with the gooey inside? I don't think I have. Well, <laughs> you see, there's two ways of eating them. There's two theories of eating them. All right, one is you, you bite right through. And then you get the goo right away. You slurp it down. It's whatever. <laughs> but I'm going with the other strategy. It's Excuse me, you... miss. Do you mind not coming up on my back, please? It's where you melt it down. You <laughs> hold it in your mouth. And you melt it down. And eventually, eventually it tastes better. Marcus, what the hell are you talking about? I'm going to break through the tough exterior. And make them love me. All right, look, we're, we're going to the Dicenzo's house, all right? We got some things oh, to take care of. <laughs> no, it's not dinner time yet, but I will bring it up, all right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> go, go. I'll see Mo you in looking forward to it. So is Renny. All right. But, yeah, uh, Renny, huh? I'm going to be heading to Valentine in roughly about uh, 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you there. All right, I'll see you there. It's nice to meet you, uh, finally, Lou. <laughs> I've been saying so many great things about you. You see? Is he Let's always... Go. Yeah, don't worry about it. Come on, Mr. Flint. <laughs> we really gotta come up with a response and they go, it's nice to meet you. Does I feel bad just staying quiet? Well, if you're looking for a jester for your performance, I think he's your man. It's not a bad idea. I like that. Maybe you could go tell him that. Well, if you have his information, so I'll be sure to reach out. Howdy, how you doing? How are you? <laughs> My face like stuck on something. We changed the walk style. There we go. Woo. If we're going back to the Dicenzo's house, you might have to put that suit on. No. Well, I, I guess you're not going then. Mm. We'll be waiting outside. Chat, chat, is there a way to get rid of the pencil or do we have to actually make the suit again? I'm literally scuffed. Somebody's, oh, there's already somebody changing.
Well, this is glasses, bandana, coat, shirt, gun belt, boots. I don't know if you can take off accessory. You can when you have it on, okay. I'll trust chat. Am I scuffed or is there somebody in actually in there? Let me relog, maybe I'm scuffed. I couldn't pick up the bottle earlier too, remember? Okay, so it's not scuffed. All right, we're good. We just gotta wait. Were you, were oh you, my God. Were, you, were, you in, were you in there with Debbie? I'm sorry. <laughs> he was. What? <laughs> What the heck? What's going on in there? <laughs> what are you and Debbie doing? <laughs> Whoa, you scoundrel. This is Gave a public place. I said, I don't need this investment here. Just There's shoot. somebody in doing? there. He's just fucking... Well, like, I mean, we gotta wait. You see? Well, what a strange coincidence. <laughs> I wanna... I wanna fucking kill Marcus. Oh. <clears throat> I don't believe I was able to introduce myself, Mr. Marcus. Is that correct? That is correct. Marcus Danner, pleasure to meet you. I am a businessman in all forms of making money. Mr. Danner, well, the pleasure is all mine, sir. All mine indeed. Now, listen, my good friend, Mr. Corleone, there, is going to be putting on a performance. That's right, a show for this year coming Wednesday. And I would love to see your talented self, your most peculiar self, up there entertaining the fine folks of the cross and what say you well i'm not all that talented but i'm dating this lovely woman named moxie and she can actually sing but he's dating good. moxie maybe she'd be good at that well if you would be so kind as to extend this invitation to miss moxie i would be most well most thankful for that sir all right well what's your name again moxie's with marcus so my name is jesse jesse flim yeah that's right how did Jesse that happen? And how would I reach and you? Would I just I go through Tony? To be honest, I have no idea. You could go through Tony, or I'll, I'll give you my telegram right now, sir. Is there a face for me, Mom? She might feel bad for him, you know what I mean? Are you guys discussing something over there? Sorry, what was that, Mackish? I was just wondering what you guys were talking about. Oh, you know. Yeah. All it's right, a beautiful anyway. town here. Jesse, what was that telegram? Well, so my telegram is going to be orange <laughs> trees, like them orange trees in Florida. That's orange trees 719. Yeah, I'll pass that along. I don't, I don't know if she has the guts to get up on stage quite yet, but. Hey, she's well, definitely the talented one out of the two of us. Well, if she don't have the guts, maybe she has you the slash E for more emotes. Pay. I, what, what oh. Oh. Mr. Corley, we are going to be paying these here performers, yeah? Uh, of course we're going to be paying the performers. What do you think? That's right, sir. We, we are going to be paying most handsomely. That's right, most handsomely indeed. A small fortune, even. Well, a small fortune? That could be you no change less the other than side without waiting? That's fine. That's well, sir, I reckon anywhere from $10 to 10000 somewhere in that range, sir. Would you say on the upper end or the lower end? Oh, there. sir, you never know what end you're going to end up on. Is it strictly based on the amount of talent they bring, or is it like a universal Mr. Pay? Flint, take control of the conversation, all right? We don't have all day. We'll uh, negotiate the details later. Right. Sure, yeah. That change here? Fuck. Maybe, maybe I'll find a talent by the time. When, when is the show happening? Is there somebody in there? 
you doing? Is there someone in the room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the we're fuck? California time? We're, we're in the Midwest. I know. So what? 9 p.m. EST? Good gosh. All right. Oh, my food's here. I'm so hungry. Have you convinced anyone else yet? How about, how about well, Tony? Does he have a talent? Well, yes, sir. I've already convinced what? many people. We are all lined up. Okay. I've been talking to people for weeks now. We have all sorts of fantastic talent for this show. And I tell you what, if Miss Moxie don't come and perform, I'm certain someone there would most likely pay her for more events. Maybe get her to record one of them their records. Wouldn't that be something? My girl's name up on a record play? Good gosh. That's right, sir. In fact, earlier today, I done talked to one of them gentlemen from one of them record companies. I know he's going to be in attendance there. Well, that's certainly something. I can't wait. Next Wednesday, huh? Yeah, I'll yes, let her sir. know. Well, thank you so much, sir. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> Get away from me, Marcus. Well, well, no way. I just wanted to discuss money with you. Because Tony fell through on me. Hey, are you Debbie? All right, that's not the one from inside. I see money. That's, that's... How much? Well, uh... Could be a good deal. You know anything about art, Will? No. Well, apparently people pay tons of money for these... Just, just, you know, Paintings and stuff. Oh, never mind. One second. I'll maybe get back to you another time. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you first. Sure, that's fine. Still in there? Jesus. Where else can we change, chap? Well, ma'am, I think you look well. Now, how would I describe someone in their Sunday attire? I think you look like a a righteous Christian. That's what I think. Wow. I don't know how to take that. Are you disrespecting Rennie right now? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Not at all. No disrespect intended. None intended whatsoever. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I might have deserved that. I might have deserved that a little bit. I will agree. But no disrespect intended, sir. <laughs> All right. Good. Keep it that way. Set of the Dicenzos. Oh, you got to change your clothes. What are you doing? There's someone in there. All right. Look, we'll go to the theater. You change your clothes, Ann. I'll see you later, Tony. I'll see you, Rennie. All right. Take it easy, eh? Jesse, come on. Bon voyage. I'm actually just finishing up uh, that quick chat with Marcus there, uh, Mr. Corleone. I'll be, I'll, I'll run and catch up to you. All right, stay here. We're gonna go get a suit and we'll be back. You know they don't, they don't let you buy any there. They just, uh, yeah, I'm sure you know. Lighting and I. What the fuck? Antonio. This room. Do you have any water? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah.
Well, Mr. Wu, just like I'm sure the second coming of our Lord is going to be more eventful than the first, so too is that second punch even more magnificent than the first, I tell you. He's so good at that. I, 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 would certainly, uh, I, I would certainly love to have the strength of a man like that, I tell you. Trying to eat my food while RPing, it's hard, man. Starving, though. I think it should be right here somewhere. I'm trying to remember. I think it, here it is. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I got some sushi. All right. Bit of a couple of spare clothes in there. Yeah, I can't remove the pencil. All right, the the Chenzos would go. That's so scuffed. Whatever. I'm scarfing down his fucking sushi. I'm gonna be sick. I gotta put the rest of this away. <clears throat> Do you haven't met any of the uh, the Chenzos yet, Mr. Flynn? Oh, uh, no, sir. No, sir. I have not. All right. Well, hopefully, some of them are around. I mean, Amadeo is gonna be working the security, and Al's got the one with the plan. I think it's just on your side. Oh, so they can't see the pencil? If they can't see the pencil, that's good, because it's really, really scuffed. So, Mr. Corleone, well, if I may be so bold as to inquire, uh, well, are you and Miss... You and Miss, you know, well, that young lady we was talking to, I, I, how do y'all know each other? What's in here, Mr. Flynn? How do I strangle him? Me and I are together. But I do care for him. And I swear to God, if you even try... To do anything with A. I will have you oh. strangle you to oh. fucking death, you understand? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Next time, I'll make sure you're not breathing after. <laughs> you can talk to her. You can call her pretty. But I swear to God, if you break her heart. We're gonna have a fucking problem. Fuck that. Yeah. Is there a way to strangle where you don't kill them? How do you let go? Hmm, you know what? Maybe not the best way for you to meet the Dechenzos. Take you over here in the pack. Yeah, of course. That sounds mighty fun. Trying from behind is insta kill. Oh, I see.
<coughs> Let me pick a rest on this uh, little blanket here. <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> Pause. <laughs> the pencil is so <laughs> scuffed. You're gonna be yeah. alright. Don't worry. I hope you take oh, your feet yeah. here, right? Of course. Let's go and take a rest. Everything's gonna be alright. I don't think relogging will fix it because it's part of the accessory. I just have to change it in clothing. Oh, try remove hat? I don't have a hat one. Check on your glasses tab might be there. Damn, move kind of sexy without them glasses. Ooh. <laughs> Chill, woo. You might make, make me go to the bathroom, bruh. Sheesh. All right, up on your feet, eh? <coughs> uh, yes, sir, Mr. Colio. Mr. Right. Wu, uh, Mr. Wu, that is some impressive grip. That's so impressive indeed. <laughs> uh, well, sir, if David had half that strength when he done fought Goliath, it had been over in less than a minute. No shot, he just passed out. All right, let me see if they're home. Give me a second. I can't help but stare at the pencil same, dude.
It looks like the night here. Should probably head over to uh, Valentine. There's some business that we gotta take care of. Get up with some uh, people. <laughs> Give me a moment. Oh, you can put shit in the horse. Oh, that's sick. What the fuck? Cool. Now, Mr. Corleone, I'll let you get to your business in Valentine. I'll start working on preparing that event for you, sir. Of course. Appreciate your time, Mr. Flynn, right? Valentine well, might be a good spot for you to meet some people. You sure you don't want to come with? Well, sir, that crossing is uh, mighty dangerous, but <coughs> well, with your associate, Mr. Wu, by our side, well, I don't say it's the safest passions I've ever seen. All right, so you're coming with her when? Oh, uh, you know, yes, what the sir, fuck are you yeah, saying, Ian? Th that's a yes, sir. Yep. Uh, you know, you, sure you, you make things over fucking complicated, all right? Just say if you want to go, if you don't want to go. Yes, okay? sir. I don't need a yes. whole fucking spiel about all this left, right, whatever the fuck <coughs> you're saying. If somebody asks you a question, just fucking answer it. I don't need the whole fucking goddamn book and the chapter and everything. It's a yes or no fucking question, all right? Well, gentlemen, to are Valentine you coming we go. Yes, sir. Right. To Valentine we go. Let me take the fucking box off. Hold on. Be right out. Give me a second. I'm gonna go get changed real quick. All right, the Valentine would go. Where is Valentine? Oh, it's right there. My horse does not sound happy. Gotta hit a quick Benny's repair, bro. Where the fuck did Tony go? Uh, 
somebody turned around, thought we were somebody else. And to be honest with you, I think it's a. I've never seen a theater as beautiful as that place back then. I'm saying is back in the day things were a little bit more uh, different right now I'm trying to look at things and I well now we could run the bigger picture here I have no idea where I'm going We gotta head the other way if we're going to Valentine. Follow me. Well, now that's not the most kind thing to say, Mr. Corleone. Antonio Corleone. horse is literally going to die. Fish and I roll. That dude being dragged by a horse? the fuck we going Tony yeah, we gotta head over here to the left right mr flynn yes sir my horse named randy that's right <laughs> what is your horse's name well his name is randy that's a good name you know what my horse's name is well you done told the goofy ass that's right yeah, he's a goofy ass horse i'll tell you that The world is so crazy beautiful, man. What a... Well, now, Mr. Wu, what about you? Uh, what's your horse's name?
Who's a good character for Abby when Buddha is shitting? True. But you say you've been in China, right? Dude, I want a cart, dude. We should be rolling around a four in a four door, man. Two horse, four door. You know what I'm saying? Guys, thank you guys for all the subs today, chat. We're actually climbing in subs again. Feels good, man. Hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, the Woo RP too. That's because AD juiced us. True. Mr. Corleone, I done write you, by the way, but I think that business is handled. Uh, you can ignore that telegram. Of course. Oh, look, I'm going to take a sheet over here real quick. Give me a moment. Hey, Rob Banks in this game? We'll find out eventually, man. What a view, man. <laughs> oh, I know what we can do. <laughs> well, I was really trying to get me to kill his ass, bro. Looks like that horse doesn't really like you too much, Mr. Wu. I hate it even more. <laughs> yeah, you got your shirt all day, all dirty now. <laughs> Why don't we head over to the uh, to the inn over here in the uh, Valentine? Get you a bath. <laughs> oh, there's a friend of mine. Wu, kind of sexy, bro. Doing all right. Got to get my uh, friend the bath over here for sure. He's a little dirty. Almost there. 
Oh, game. She's saying that she toes. All right. Well, look, uh, why don't you meet me at the saloon? We can catch up, talk about some things. All right. I got to check my telegrams real quick. All right. I'll see you over there. Is that woo? Woo! <laughs> oh, by the way, Miss Moxie, don't know. Get off of my horse! <laughs> Boop, get off the horse! <laughs> You're never gonna touch my fucking horse again, you understand? <laughs> Don't ever embarrass me like that in front of others. Hello? You can take a bath in here, right? This building. Hey, you know, if you've got a ranch, lad, so you don't take. Uh, these some errands for some fella there. Hey, hey, party what you work for? Uh, well, I don't know if I'm rightly allowed to tell you. I know you. everybody. Oh, Jesus, you are very filthy, mister. Yes, is there a bath here? Are you looking to take a bath? Yes. Alright. Well, uh, do you I mind know. if I go first? Cause no, he's no, dirty. no, he's much dirtier. I was here first. I don't want to. I don't want to bathe yeah, in this dirty water. Yeah, but I don't load. know if I want to allow you to have a bath. So, sir, it's down the down the corridor to the left, all right? Well, you Thank can you. charge him five dollars. No, that's stairway, that's up, Mister. That's upstairs. Mister, oh. that's the wrong way. Here, I'll show Fuck you. you go. Jesus, you How do you know where something? it is? I told you, Melvin chewed my toenails. Oh yeah, you're right. Come on this way, Mister. <laughs> all right. Uh, you can get your skivvies off uh, uh, back there. Watch out through the window, so there are papers. <laughs> Have a good bath. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Who's fucking life, man? emerges from the mist only by the name of Ghost. Watch out all you sinners in the crossing, most particularly you, Gavin Summers. <laughs> He's a coming for you. <laughs> that, that sounded more like a wolf. Fuck. <laughs> Howdy, sir. <laughs> Damn, woo, you sexy. Yeah, we're busy today. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, looking good, woo. Thank you again. All right, well, that's oh, $10. And I'll, uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Can I like lean while I'm drinking? Oh, no, no, ma'am, please. This is the cleanest soap you'll ever buy. Uh, yeah, the cleanest. Right, okay, well, just, I don't know. Do you have samples? We can use them now. Well, now, this is the most peculiar thing. The most peculiar thing, indeed. See, I don't have any samples of the soap uh, on me. Don't waste my time, sir. Come on. Oh, 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 in the white oh. shirt. Well, but, but we'll have them soon, ma'am. I'm oh. hey, sorry. Did anybody name Melvin try to chew your toenails when he was in the bath? I believe not. Okay. See, last time I took a bath here, a fella tried to chew my toenails. It was disgusting. You see? As a matter of fact, this whole place can be pretty disgusting. You see, you soap salesman? Yes, ma'am, I am. Why don't... My name's Toosie Lou. You don't gotta call me ma'am. Why don't you open your own bathhouse? Well, ma'am, I'm not something of a bathhouseman myself, just a soap salesman. <laughs> I'm just saying, there ain't enough bathhouses. There ain't, there's a nice bath in Rhodes. Nobody ever, ever takes baths there, though. There's a nice one in Blackwater. Everybody's got to come to this shithole <laughs> and deal with that ornery old lady who's just me. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt any of you folks seeing uh, Moxie. Uh, dressed in all black, wears an eye patch. Last seen here. I've got some of hers she, I need to return. She just took a bath here. Then she yep. left. Okay, I appreciate you. Now, ma'am, you said your name was Toosie Lou? You bet your bottom dollar. Well, and your surname, ma'am? It's Lou. First name, oh. Toosie. Why can't oh, you well, sell these chairs? You can well, call Ms. me Toosie. Lou. It's okay. Oh, no, Miss Lou. I'm something for pleasantries. Okay, well, I ain't gonna, you know, discourage a gentleman from being a gentleman, especially a handsome one. Oh, ma'am. If I had a quarter of the handsomeness as you have beauty, well, then every girl in the crossing would be coming after me. <laughs> oh, you is a salesman. So, how much is your soap? Well, now, that's the most peculiar story. See, I don't have any of this here soap per se. I'm working on acquiring my father's secret recipe, that's right. Right. Well, what you need to get is a recipe. Well, now that's the <clears throat> that's the hard part. See, I don't I don't particularly know what was in the soap. I just know it smells like lavender and lilac. You could done go and rob the general store, walk out with this soap, and the law lets you go free because you're smelling that clean. Well, I doubt that highly, Mister. But most soaps got lye in it, uh, some kind of fat, and then something to make it smell pretty. Well, now let me let me write that down there, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> this soap is probably pig shit. I would not buy. Oh really? I come there more if you want me to get closer. I think I am. I think that's a great job. I really appreciate it. All right, one down, um, one I... more to go. All right, back in it goes. Ow. <laughs> All right, I, I tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll skip the toenail biting. Um, what are you talking no, about? No, I, I really appreciate it. No, seriously. <laughs> I, I just, you know, it's not really my, you know, uh, thank you. I, you know, you can shy. Is that what it is? No, of course not. Uh, you listen, look, it's just, you know, a couple of things here and there. You know, I, I mean, the way I look at it. All right, you know, put the foot in my guy. mouth, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a stubborn one. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, I've done listen. it. There it listen, is. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. Not a much. problem. All right.
All right. <clears throat> you want me to uh, scrub you, or do you think you got the rest of now? I, I think I got it. I appreciate it very much. All right. Like Thank you, Mama. You want me to Mama. check your hair for, uh, for, uh, for life, or? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no ways. All right. You better hope I don't find any. Last person I did this to died. What was it looking like? Yeah, I don't know. Let's have a look through it here. Look at that. Oh, my God. You're clean as a whistle, sir. Oh, thank clean God. as a whistle. All right. Well, that's good. All right. Well, usually my bath people would come in now and start dancing around and they'd get in with you and, you know, knead your body with their own feet and give, I mean, Uncle Melvin puts mustard powder on you for some reason, but... Luckily for you, no one's in today, so it's just me. So uh, I would call that bath complete. All right. Well, I uh, really appreciate it, and thank you very much. All right. Here's a complimentary smoke for you. Enjoy the rest, and uh, cheerio. All right. Thank you. Ah, shit. I got some of your toenails stuck in my teeth. Oh, fuck. You scared the shit out of me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Antonio. What? What were you doing in there? I was, um, I was getting assistance with my bath. I'm going to tell the woman you love. Uh, that's all right. We already had the talk. We're never going to be together. Hey, you should try it sometime. She did this thing where she put it, my toes in her mouth and then <laughs> bit off the toenails. It was really nice. Strange. You want me to buy you one? With, uh, my co-workers, and we'll see. We'll go from there. Thank you again, Mama. Have of a good one, all right? Oh, yeah, you come back for your bedtime story. I know we'll how do. you like it. I'll be seeing you later, all right? All right. Man, hey, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Sorry, I, I was taking go. a bath. I would right. recommend yeah, I heard about taking it. a bath, so guy. Yeah, she did this thing where I... Oh, my God, my boots... <laughs> I, uh, I gotta I'm go late. get my boots. I forgot to put I, my boots oh, on. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I need to be careful. Excuse, Excuse me, uh, <laughs> Mr. Mama. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta wipe okay. my feet. Okay, okay. There's a lot of oh, Jesus wept. I swear to God, this town gets crazier every minute. I like it that way. I maybe want it. Um. Uh, well, well if I spot them, I'll let you know. Well, what's so crazy about it then, man? Alright. Oh, I just laugh at annoying fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. I'm just like, really bad. I'm We're sorry. All, like, huddled in a bubble uh, right now. It's weird. So. Is Alice okay? Really uh, you know me. I fluster people. On that note, folks, oh, Sam Bass wrongfully prosecuted. Yeah. Sent to Sisica for murder charges when he was rescuing a kidnapped friend. Justice for Bass! News in that. Damn, that's what sick. A fucking bunch of bullshit. <clears throat> Got Are you talking shit over there, your man to promote your business. Yeah. It's okay. Good old Sam Bass, huh? Grab another whiskey. All right, need to get me a drink. Antonio, we have made no money. You said we come here for business. Well, yeah, we did come here for business, and that business is about to walk right through the door. Sounds to me the Business was a woman putting her lips on your toes. Well, you know what they say. Sometimes you gotta relax a little bit. It was pretty nice. Oh, sir, 
it goes. They have hey, a bit of out back right now. I'm good. Thank you. Hey, what were you saying? Sorry. Oh, the bartenders and all the owners are having a business meeting out back right now with security. No ways. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Sorry, I didn't know if you guys wanted to buy anything. That's why. Oh, yeah. That's right. okay. You too. So what is this business, Antonio? What? The business we are here for. Oh, we're going to talk to Miss Maxie about some things. Let me see what we can get into. Regarding what? Regarding making money. Phyllis, I don't Good. mean to be a pain in the ass, but you're kind of in my way. Scoot over a little. Of course. Thank you, darling. Come on, let's make some fucking money. Yeah, Barbara, I wonder if we can get a haircut. Oh, shit. Damn, we was sexy, bro. Scammed, betrayed. How are you, ponytail? I'm okay. I might be wanted. That's all right. We're gonna find out real quick here. I'm actually gonna mm -hmm. make some money. Oh. Um, uh, you know, in this. <laughs> I mean, the first thing that I would think of is uh, something that you know you didn't work out so well with. Second thing is maybe you can sell some guns. Ooh. Oh, you know, you can. Gold, Maxie. Mm hmm. Oh, painted for gold? Yeah, I'm just curious. It's chump change. That's what I was thinking. Probably better luck in the mines. If you want some real gold, you're not going to find it in the water. <coughs> Oh, I need water. You're not gonna find it in the mines, neither. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kid, I need some of that water. Oh, of course there, Mr. Wu, of course. <laughs> well, now I only have beer. Are you okay with that? Yes. One second there, sir. <laughs> Just got to rummage through my pockets here. They're quite tight. <laughs> Dad, how do I trade, bro? Here's two cold bottles for you, sir. Possibly some of the finest. Oh.
kitchen before I leave. Jesse Flint. Also, Pip might have gotten got. Yeah, he did. They doubled back, but, exactly like I said. And Jack said, no, no so they're Flint. not going to double back. <laughs> they yeah, I saw you back. down in these the other day, didn't What do I? they do? They double back. <laughs> and he I owes me a case there. of cigarettes. Jesse Flint. I need a bath again. I hate Valentine. Hey, stay by him. That's right, looks like you got all your fancy clothes back on, huh? That's a good voice, dude. All right, he's coming here. All right. Me with the Chenzos with. Oh, it's Sister Moon, okay. Yeah. Some of the other fancy folk around here. Oxy. You have a cigarette. Saint Denis. I do. Yeah, I have. Okay, this here is Jesse Flint. Jesse Flint, this is my friend Kay. Ah, pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Of course. All right, Kay, we're getting the hell out of here. Yeah, we should head uh, towards the city. See you, fellas. Marcus around. is coming this way. Yeah, you want around, some right? moonshine? Come down and fucking these, all right? All right, take it easy. <laughs> but we're probably going to leave town as soon as he does, just because he's super cool. Corleone and Tony. Tail. Have a good one, eh? All right. Take care. So tell me more about this show. The show's going to be on Wednesday. I think we're going to have a... Uh, I has got this big idea. Basically, there's going to be a lady, and then there's going to be a couple guys who are going to try to go at him. She's going to turn him down. It's, you know... I better let Al explain it. He knows it better. It's his idea anyways. I he fucking changed hate it up a little bit from the other plans, so. You're talking about the one we talked about on the roof? Yeah, but it's a little bit different than that. All right. And then also on top of that, a little bit beforehand, we're going to have some performances. I think uh, a man named Billy is going to be playing. And then if you want to get up there and sing, I wouldn't mind either. I don't sing in public. I get well, nervous. <laughs> like I said, if you want to, you can. If not, no ways. But we got to find out how to make some cash in the meantime to get things ready. That's right. what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. Well. <laughs> you just want me to come up with something, don't you? Well, I mean, you know, we're pretty new around here. Still trying to, you know, learn a couple things or two. Come up with something creative like a scam. Rob some folks for some shiny things. I mean, he's not the best place. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anybody here is going to rat on me. No one ever does. <laughs> I mean, the law knows I'm going to do something nasty anyway. I'm going to take on sheriff, but uh, thank you for your advice. I think I'm going to rob the bank. Right now. Every simple wonderful day. What the hell are you saying, eh? You're crazy, Maxie. Also, your husband seems to have a problem with me. Whatever that is. Howdy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. How's life? Yeah, fantastic. Living the dream. Just peachy. Mm-hmm. You been good? No. Of course you haven't. Why did I even ask? I don't know. I like it when they ask, though. <laughs> mm. What do you find folks up to? Hey, you know, just enjoying the town here, taking it easy, relaxing a little bit after a long day of traveling. It's always a good thing. That's right. Well, I don't yeah. believe we've met. What's your name? We have met, actually. Yeah, Name's Sheriff met. Lewis. Nice to meet you again. I, uh, don't do that to me, Moxie. I play that game too. I'll bet I'm right back. You don't think I'm pretty? Oh, I think <laughs> you're gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Even though you're covered in mud. Mm-hmm. Welcome to downtown. Mm-hmm. You were uh, killing some wolves the other day, I believe. When we met. 
I don't think we actually introduced ourselves, but I remember your face. Did Did you actually kill him, or did he? He actually killed him. I'm sure he was with uh, a woman. I don't know who she oh, was. Oh wait, so. then it was that you. It was me. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think I was with Miss Rennie. That's who it was. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's north of Valentine, again. I believe. Yeah, yeah that's right. me as well. If I turned in a gun, would I be wanted? What kind of a gun, Moxie? One with its hot. If you willingly bring me a hot gun, I'll not charge you for it. Okay. Well, I didn't As bring it. As a show of good faith. Well, who'd you bring it to, Moxie? Someone else. Oh, Lord. Well, was it another sheriff or a deputy? <coughs> Weller. Okay. Well, you may I'm... never see it again. <laughs> Did he charge you for it? No. He gave me my gun back. Exactly. He would have, if you were going to get charged, he would have, uh, uh. He would have done it right then, but I wouldn't have charged for it, no. Now, ma'am, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance yet. My name's uh, Jesse, Jesse Flint. Nice to meet you, Mr. Flint, Sheriff Lewis. Well, Miss Lewis, in the Ms. company of you and Miss Moxie, I feel like I'm back in one of them their history classes. Ew, right before no, me is Helen of Troy that. and Cleopatra, the most beautiful women I don't ever see. Which one's Cleopatra? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, uh, new to the crossing? <laughs> well, yes, ma'am, I am. <laughs> kind of figured. <laughs> well, not been here more than, uh, well, maybe 65 days, 50 of which I done spent in the jail cell. <laughs> oh, I already made acquaintance with what jail cell. What on earth did you we? do? <laughs> well, you now... It's the most darndest story. You know, they don't accuse me of robbing one of them their financial banks. That's right. Mm, really? <laughs> well, there might be a little bit of truth in it, but you know what uh -huh. they say. There's your truth, my truth, and the Lord's. And frankly, <laughs> I wait till my judgment day for that. Wow, well, it's so witty, it's dude. a religious man. What gave it away, Moxie? <laughs> the tie. Oh, no, not religious at all, actually. I mean, I'm only religious uh, when I fear death's claws reaching out to me. Mm. Only when you need it, right? Bet. That's right, ma'am. Oh, you can't lean and smoke. That sucks. All right, well, I am, you know, glad you two got to meet. Well, you're going to be heading out here soon, so You're I... leaving? Well, I'm not leaving. Oh. But I mean, you know. Well... Yeah, just is this you, you telling us to move along? I think it is. Mm -hmm. It was lovely meeting you again, and it was lovely meeting you for the first time. Lovely seeing you, as always, Moxie, and of course. the gentleman on the end. I'm not sure who you are, but lovely. All right. I am headed back up to the office to make sure that uh, Valentine doesn't burn down, I guess. No right. promises. Take it easy, all right? Yeah, just make sure you're not the one that does it, Moxie, all right? Okay. Miss Luce, the pleasure was all mine. You take it easy now. Yep. If you need anything, just come by the office. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think she fancies me, I do. Uh -huh. Why is everything that comes out your yeah, mouth gentlemen. just lies? Hers? I don't know. She was with me for a while. Well, Miss Wu... I don't think everything comes out of my mouth alive. There's not a dishonest bone in my body. Swear on my mother. Swear like on the maker it. above. He's funny. All right. Mm. So more about this uh, situation. All right. Um. So you want to make money. Are you, what are you willing to do to do that? Are you wanting to not get in trouble? Are you wanting to cause trouble? Whatever we do, I just can't make Al upset again, all right? You can't do anything stupid, well, so if we're going to do don't something... Don't get caught. Well, right, of course. So we're probably going to end here, boys. It's a good episode. Today was like a nice little chill day. It was a crazy the past few days, but we needed this for Wu. Made no fucking so if money, though. I plan this time, maybe an idea. Maybe, Maybe we, we could just do something. You got shot. 
Yeah, I got shine. Oh, yeah, I got right. shine in my right arm. You ever get that looked at, by the way? <laughs> yeah, Rennie took care of it. All right. Oh, she kissed your boo boos. Hey, you don't pull the bullet out. Mm hmm. Once a uh, dumbass gets here, we can probably figure something out. He said he was on his way. All right. Always. I'm sure he wants to punch Woo. Is mm -hmm. that Marcus? You're talking about Marcus. Yep. Is that your husband? No. He's my boyfriend. How is that oh. possible? It's kind of fucking annoying, to be honest. Who, Marcus? Yeah, yes. he's a little little redundant. You know, a little, little like, out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he's a genius when it comes to plans like this. Plans for what? World domination. No. Making money. Now you're Excuse starting me, to understand why we don't have any. <laughs> what is it? What is your problem, Wu? <laughs> Everything must take time. <laughs> Patience and time. Where are you going? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Uh, day off tomorrow. Tomorrow's 50 50 chat. I might not stream tomorrow. I might stream tomorrow. We'll see. And if we stream tomorrow, then we're taking Saturday off for sure. All right, we got to pretend we went to go do something so we have a reason to come back and not look like we have nothing else to do if we leave them. We bought a bow. <clears throat> right, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I want to do uh, half and half. Uh, I really want to start getting into Wu's story. Today was actually a really good day. Uh, setting up a job. Well, I don't know what the job entails, but the Dicenzo's uh, setting up playing for some work. Uh, the theater shit Tony's got going on. It was mostly a chill day too, but I think Wu needed that because the past two days were just so demoralizing for him. Playing Wu, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. Hell is Marcus. So what is this plan? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have one yet. I don't know what you exactly are willing to do. Because what I'm willing to do right now is take money out of people's pockets. Look, will... guy. You uh, want to get up Whoa. today? Go ahead. I think I might uh, get some rest. I'm feeling a little tired You're... today. You Whoa, look are... at you. Woo. You cleaned up so well. <gasps> Oh, wait, I'll be around for a while. oh well, if it's not you again, Marcus. It's me. How do you like the new the new outfit? Hey, you're looking all right. Not too bad. Thank you. Thank you. I like blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. And I took a lot of inspiration from your coat. By the way, Jesse, I've been advertising this talent show, and you know, people are actually getting pretty excited for it. Well, uh, Mr. Marcus, uh, let me tell you that that is music to my ears, so I appreciate that. I got my friend Klaus involved, and he knows a whole network of folk, and he seems all about oh, this talent show. No. What? All right, well, look. Nothing. We'll take care, right? I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get some rest. Boo stink. Yeah, yeah, I know. Boo look, stink. tomorrow I'll be around for a while. We can hang out. Oh, Mr. Corleone, you need anything, sir, while you sleep, you let me know, all right? Besides putting on the show for you, anything at all. All right, no ways. Woo. What's the date today? Mr. Flint, Marcus, hey, Marcus, you have a great night, all right? What's the weekend? See you day? around. Take care, Antonio. Thursday. Have a good night. I will go handle some business. <laughs> I think that means he's going to use the little boy's room. <laughs> I, th I think it's the little boy's room. Antonio. Oh, good morning, mister. But yeah, good. My friend, Klaus. I talked to Mama. She knows Antonio. What's going on, Woo? We need to 
people make money. Yeah, of course. But the big event next Wednesday, Ben. Got to figure out how to come up with some funds in the meantime. And I'm not trying to get grabbed by the law. So if you got any ideas, you can think about it. But right now, if I can think of too much. Make anything tomorrow. I will kill you. <laughs> no, you won't. You keep talking like that and I'll kill you here. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude i love this game man oh my god end of episode five yep we call today's episode the chill day <laughs> <laughs> But it was good, man. Uh, working on some connections. Finally met Blau's character. The event, I think, is going to be really cool. Uh, building up the rep with the Italians. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there for Wu, man. Wu definitely needed a day like this, though, where it wasn't just total chaos from beginning to end. Yeah, chat. I've been loving this shit, man. I've been loving it. Good day today. Good day of GTA. Great day of GTA. Got a lot of business stuff done. Finally growing the poppies. Good day for Wu. Good stream for us. Overall good, man. All right, chat. I'm probably going to go uh, chill for a little bit, eat the rest of my food, and then play uh, Rust with the boys. I'll host Mendo so you guys can watch... Uh, us play the wipe and i will so tomorrow chat is 50 50 if i'm not live tomorrow it's just a day off if i am live tomorrow i'm taking off saturday okay and uh you know once again guys thank you for tuning in thank you for enjoying uh you know the stream thanks for watching uh red dead as well i've really been enjoying it i'm glad chat enjoys it as well it's been fun uh we'll be live either tomorrow or saturday i'm not sure yet all right and then uh yeah thank you guys for tuning in and please follow the channel, guys. We're almost uh, 800k followers. So, uh, yeah. And it's free. It takes two seconds. All right. But I appreciate all of you for tuning in every single day, boys. Uh, Red Dead has been a lot of fun. Like I said, we're really slow burning woo. So days like this, you know, not much craziness happens. But, you know, adjust to the fact that Red Dead is way more slow burned than GTA. Crazy days will come. Chill days are probably going to come more. Dialogue is very heavy, which is what I truly enjoy about RP. Uh, even though, you know, ironically, our character is a very quiet character, but still. And, uh, you know, we'll see where uh, Wu's life takes him, man. All right. And I'll see you guys uh, either tomorrow or Saturday. Love you guys, chat. Thank you for tuning in every single day. Streams have been uh, really, really good recently, so thank you.